<laughs> hey y'all happy saturday hey kenya and christine just gonna do a little bit of diamond painting and talk a little bit about the graphics pro expo if you guys had any questions about anything but hey y'all in kenya i love this painting but i have not touched it in over a month like nothing is done so i want to uh -oh, I, hope I'm not I want to at least do a little bit relax from the trip and get some of this painting done that's the plan but hey y'all hey miss sonia happy saturday hey dempsey i hope all is going better please let me know hey linda hey josie hey evie and theodore y'all we had so much fun these past few days i wish i would have stayed a little longer and maybe left tomorrow but i really did need to get home um i really didn't need to get home today i have quite a few things to do but hey y'all hey angel b hey friend so what are you guys doing today what are you guys working on i'm just getting set up um if i just want to stay on here with y'all for a few minutes maybe about 30 minutes we could chill talk and everything but y'all eve eve and miss mcquackens were so hospitable we had such a good time in charlotte i know i had a good time and i know everybody else who was there had a good time and like all parts was good everything so next year you definitely want to check out well graphics pro expo they have a few shows throughout the year um but hopefully next year we will be back in charlotte with e the baby's booty because we had a good time and i saw everybody hey natalie hey lucretia hey says he crafts hey phil i'm just doing some diamond painting tonight just something relaxing um yeah because tomorrow i have a lot of stuff that i need to do to catch up on tomorrow I didn't want to put that pressure on me today. And as soon as I got in, y'all, I had to go get my hair washed because it was filthy. Like nasty, filthy. So I had to go get it washed. But yeah. Hey, Bronwyn from Australia. Welcome. Coretta, you made it home. And that's another reason why I got on too, Coretta, because I was like, well, let me get on because I told everybody that I was going to call or text them when I got in. And I called and texted nobody except my petition so this kind of lets me tell everybody that i am um home safely my flight was pretty but like everything went well we took off when we were supposed to um the flight for the most part was pretty stable so all this well hey sin Happy Saturday. Angel said, I'm still in Charlotte making a rhinestone template for my neighbor. Cool. Cool. What, Angel, you're leaving tomorrow. Are you leaving in the morning or in the afternoon? Y'all, that place, Floyd's in Charlotte, was so good. He was right. Like, that's the best food. I've been to Charlotte a few times. That's the best food that I've had. Um, Because last trip, I was not impressed with the food. But this one, that was a great suggestion. A great suggestion. Oh, Well, Christine, we had a great time. And I think that's what everybody wanted to give everybody an idea of what was happening um, in Charlotte. Y'all got to get my, where did I put my scissors at, y'all? I don't know. So let me see which one I want to do now. I'm going to switch over to the camera in a minute. But I kind of have the diamond painting a little weird only because I want you guys to see it. She's so adorable. She's so cute. Next one in June in Indianapolis. I know there's like an impressions or something. Something's at the end of the month. 
but not Graphics Pro. Hey, Mary Brown, welcome. I'm finishing up on my lower dreams. Cool, Kenya. Hey, Laura E. Good morning, like 9.30, okay. Well, make sure you get some rest. Get to the airport um, a little early. Like I usually like play around with getting to the airport only because I have clear. But the Charlotte Airport doesn't have clear, so I don't know if you have clear, but the Charlotte Airport does not have clear. And so I'm kind of glad that I got in, got there a little bit earlier today because it was pretty crowded. And um, we were only allowed to go in, I think that was like gate E, the um, check-in there, and or TSA there. And then we had to go all the way to like gate A, which was like a 15-minute um, walk. So we just want to be prepared for that. All right, y'all, I'm going to switch over so you guys can see my setup. Hey, y'all. Hey, Up Designs. Hey, Crystal. What is clear? So clear, clear is kind of like it's not pre-TSA uh, check, but it's kind of... Um, it's a, a pre-clearance where they clear you to go on. You don't, like, they just, you put your eyes or your fingerprint. I usually do my eyes. You look through a, um, a little screen, and you look through it, and then they pull up all of your information, and they walk you to the front of the line. And then you don't have to, like, wait. If it's a, if it's a long, long line, you don't have to wait. But clear is um, usually better if you're doing, like, international travels. And I used to try, I used to like to travel, y'all, but ever since y'all know what, I haven't been able to. But I never canceled my clear because I'm hoping that one day um, I'll get back to it. But I've kind of started other things. I don't really go any place now. Um, but the pre TSA, if you're interested in something like that, you're going to be traveling, you know. In the states, I would totally get that instead of clear, because clear isn't everywhere. But I think pre the TSA pre check is everywhere. I think, y'all. This is just a really chill and relaxing session. So we're not really. I don't think we're we're really not learning anything. We're really not um, crafting anything except this diamond art painting. I'm about to switch over to it in a few seconds. Once I get, once I know what I want to do. I don't really know which one I want to do. I may do 3865. We want to do some colors. We're going to finish this um, butterfly. That's what we're going to do. So I'm going to switch over right now. Hey, Anita. Hey, Teresa. Yeah, they're not, it's not clear, it isn't in all of the airports. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, it's not in all of them. It's in some of them, most of the major um, things. So like here, with it being like it's here, you know, I have it here in, in Fort Lauderdale, so it works. And then I don't have to rush because y'all going to the airport, I was, it was storming. And then um, I left, I actually went to work the day that I left to go to Charlotte. And so I left work a little early, headed to the airport, it was raining. So that meant it was traffic. And then I could, it took me maybe like 15 minutes to find a parking spot. I literally walked in the airport, walked through clear. It, I didn't have any luggage to check in or anything and walked on the plane. That's how close I was cutting it. If I didn't have clear, I know I would not have made it at all. So well, let me get out the ones that I'm gonna use. I wanna use, I'll be here in a minute. 124. Okay. 124. One or two. I don't have many 124s, y'all. Uh -uh. That doesn't look like the right thing either. I don't know. I'm gonna switch over so you guys can see my hot mess. I just wanna I just wanna diamond paint, relax, hang out with y'all. That's it. Hey, Cynthia. Hey, Nicole. I'm doing good. I'm talking about Tampa. We have a few Nicoles. Let's see. Let's see. If definitely, Teresa, if you're doing, that's what I said. I said, I might as well get that, but I do 
Um, I don't want to get rid of clear only because eventually I do plan on leaving out the country and going a few places. So that's my only, that's the reason why I don't get rid of clear, but I definitely need um, TSA pre-check because I'm missing some. I'm looking for. So this is my um, diamond art, like little storage unit set that Penley suggested that I get because the other one I got was not really good, and so I kind of keep my um, diamond drills in here, but I haven't really updated it with this new painting. So most of it is from the older painting that I had. But it's all good. Hey, Lena. So this Penley, Penley said she emailed me that she was, she probably was watching one of my videos when I was doing diamond painting and she was just like over it. And so she suggested that I get this and this, I love this because like you can label these little containers with the colors and it makes it a lot easier to do it. At least be more organized because this can get pretty messy. Okay, so 124. Let me just put this here. So we're going to do today, we are going to fill in some of the 124s. Please have you put it over me first. No, Christina, I have not gotten that. I'm hoping that I get it. That was just at the convention that we were able to like play with it and look at all of the features and things like that. So yeah. Hey, crafting away. And anyway, I missed, I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I missed you. Let me get some scissors. Oh, I have some right here. So we're just gonna cut. Y'all, this is really just a chill session and I'm just coming out with y'all to do the swift and chat. Talk about graphics. Oh, Expo, which was amazing. And I can't wait. I know next year is going to be so much better if it can be. But this year was pretty cool, especially after coming. Like last year, I went last year and it was a lot quieter. I did see E for a few seconds last year, but it was still, you know, we were still in the thick of things. We still kind of are, but. I got a chance to see a lot of people, meet people, see old friends, meet friends for the first time. I got a chance to see Josie. So yeah, that was good. This said it would be on until November, yeah. I can't wait. So I'm gonna do 124 and let me just, change my my little sticker so I remember which one it is. Where is it? Oh, here it is. So these are all like the different labels. And so the labels, like as you change the, the colors really do stay the same, but you have to be careful and you have to look at the different little symbols. Oh, I don't even know where the camera is today. Oh, the camera is over here. So you got to look at the little symbols. I used my other um, tripod attachment today, and I don't usually use, well, I use it with the iPad, but the iPad wasn't really giving me exactly what it was that I wanted it to give us tonight, so we're going to come over just a little bit. What are you guys working on? For those of you who were in North Carolina, are you home relaxing? I know, Eve, did you go to the show today too? Cause I know, you know, it was still going on today. Today was the official last day. So it's, you know, you guys, uh -oh. I'm just trying to see what else I need. 127, we're gonna finish this one right here. You guys can't see it just yet, but I'm gonna move it in here so you can see it. But we need 127 of 137, so we're gonna put. Let's get that. I'm gonna see where 127 is, and we're gonna finish that butterfly. We may do a little bit more, but for now we're gonna do this. 
you guys will tell me where I do wrong. In the world of that Nine twenty-seven. Looks like it's like a gray color. And so you know because like which ones you have to use because the numbers are here. Oh, here's nine twenty-seven right here. That's kind of what I do. I'll cut it off. And then once I cut it, I'll go ahead and put it up. Today's awesome. Awesome, awesome. I you know you had a good time. But I hope you get some rest because you've been nonstop. Hand and everything. And then last night we had a like a, a get together. It was really really nice. Eve, the place where we went, that was a really nice place. Do they like do like office work or what are we doing there? It was just so much going on. That was really nice. Eve had it decorated, y'all. She had a backdrop. For us to take some cool pictures and y'all she had me some sweet tea they put a lot of sugar in that sweet tea though but it was still good she had me some sweet tea and not just any sweet tea y'all she had sweet tea from dunkin donuts she had sweet tea from dunkin donuts mm, it was so good it was so good hey sissy sue welcome so I'm just taking my time. I'm really just relaxing and unwinding. I was going to like do some work. I was like, you know what? Just chill out. And this is, I don't know about y'all, but anybody who does diamond painting, um, tell me if you agree. I find this to be one of the most relaxing things. It's almost like, like we, for us to do bling, like this is like equivalent to that. At least I think. The only difference is, is that this we're going to hang up somewhere. Um, the bling we do, we can wear it or do whatever, drink from it. Like it's, you know, that's it. But this is still pretty much placing stones, being patient. And so this is what we're going to do. I'm going to slide it down because you guys won't see it if I don't. And so what we're going to do today is we're going to do this part of the diamond painting. Today, I am just going to take this down and I do have some washi tape. Somebody told me that the washi tape was to hold the plastic back. Is that correct? Because y'all know I'm still pretty new to this. Pretty, pretty new. Hey, Big Camp 61. It was awesome meeting you too. Y'all, that was like the best part, like meeting everybody that we're talking, like that we talk to all the time. And so my first question was like, okay, what's your name? No, 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 not your real name. <laughs> not your, not your real name. I need to know your, your channel name or your YouTube name or whatever, because I need to know how I know you. And then I, re you know, then I remember, but that was the best part. Yo, I, okay, here it is. That was the absolute best part. Hey, not, isn't she so cute? Nice. So I got this from um, Diamond Art Club. She is gorgeous. Gorgeous. Yes. Yes. This really, that's why I'm doing it now because I have a lot that I need to do. And I, um, I have a lot that I need to do. But... Like, I've just been kind of in, like, walking around kind of in a fog, especially when it comes to, like, work. Anything else, I'm, like, all down for. When it comes to, like, work, I'm just like, mm, and I kind of need some relaxation because not just for my casting business, but even for, like, teaching. Like, I, I, need, I need this. So, uh-oh. Y'all, my washi tape is not good. Y'all told me that this is what it's for. It don't look like it. I might have to get my painter's tape, y'all. My painter's tape do a good job of holding this crap. Where is it, though? 
Alright, so I'm gonna get but I find diamond painting to be so relaxing. That washi tape did not do it. Hey Barb LaFond. Happy Saturday, Barb. So yeah, y'all. Sorry, I know this might not be the correct way to do it, but do I ever do anything the correct way? Not really. So this is what we got today, y'all. And this is going to keep my diamond painting down. All right, so we are going to go with, I'm going to try to bring it so you guys can really see the part that we're doing. So we're going to be placing, we're going to be doing these two, 124 and 127. Um, that's all in this area. So we'll start with 124. And from what everybody tells me, I should not be taking all that plastic off. I need to, uh oh, let me put the label on 127 because y'all, y'all know I've been, I'll mess this up. Forget which number this is. But this is the 127. So I'm just, just going to put the label on the top. Hey, Linda, Miss Linda Gray. Taking off the cover of the middle. But can you, it's not, you, did you see it's not even working? Oh, middle for the plastic cover. Oh. Y'all know, I don't know what I'm doing. You should, Nye. That'll be fun. Hey, sis Marcel. Thanks, Teresa. Hey, Patricia. I've counted costage. Yeah. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to do a little shake, shake, shake. I could try to make sure I just have enough. And I need to get my, um, I just messed that up. It looked good at first. And then, so I was doing it with a smaller one too, which I didn't even know that it, these had a stopper on it, but it does. <laughs> How cool is that? I'm always using things wrong. All right, let's see what we could do. And then we'll just shake some more into place. T creates, hey. All right, let me get some more. I'm just giving some more wax. Sorry, y'all. This is not an exciting fun live. This is really for some sanity. Oh, tell me if you guys hear any music. My neighbors are playing a lot of um, music tonight. And then I'm just gonna get put some on this tip for the ones that I may need to do. Is one of you? Hey, Lana. Yes. Oh, thank you. I needed that. Can you grow on? I don't even know. I don't even know what I did with anything. <laughs> I picked this up. I was like, you know what? You need to relax. You need to chill out. Because I was a little bit too antsy today and worried about working, like things I needed to get done. And I'm like, it's going to get done. And it's okay if you don't do it. It's okay if you just chill out for a little bit. I hope you guys know that too, that it's okay. It's okay to chill out. You don't have to keep going. Oh, look at my wax didn't stay in. Hold on. <laughs> okay, right. <laughs> Let me see. Let's go. Let's hope. Uh, Okay, it's good now. It's good now, y'all. So when I first started, I did not realize that I could pick up multiple diamond drills at a time. 
And so that took me a long time to, uh -oh, I put too many on here. That took me a long time to really get everything done. But then somebody told me, one of y'all told me what I needed to do. Uh -oh, I'm getting more everywhere. And that's what we did. I'm picking up two more, but it's okay. I'll just put it over. No, that's fine. That's, you know. Hope you guys can even see. That's what we're doing. So, what are you guys working on? Anybody else going to diamond paint too? Can you not diamond painting tonight? But yeah, y'all, that was good. And who else was there? So, of course, so I met Katrina at um, in Fargo. She was there. Katrina's Grace for Creations. Um, A Dub, T shirt, Side Hustle, Angel B Designs. Who else was there, y'all? The Baby's Booty, The Best Uni. Coretta Dangerfield. Teresa was there. Was so many. When I tell you, was so many people there. So many people that Nicole was there. Look, you all Nicole is a hot mess. Sorry, Nicole. I had to tell them you're a hot mess because she really is a hot mess, y'all. But a good hot mess. Don't think when I say hot mess, I mean hot mess bad. Most people say hot mess and they may mean bad, not me. It's a good thing. I need two more. And when I say I'm a hot mess, it could be good or bad. I gotta get more. Okay. Crocheting fingerless gloves. Okay. So you make it fast. Hey, Mirror Bear. Hey, kid. Yeah, what are you working on? Working on a video? Y'all, okay, let me tell y'all. I told everybody at the expo already. So, I know I got this new DTF printer. And I also um, was using the... Okay, so I did two videos. One before I left because I was going to release the videos or premiered them while I was in um, Carolina. And so the videos were all done and I kind of do my videos in like segments. And so I put them together and I take away anything, you know, cut out anything that doesn't need to be there or anything that I, I try to cut out things that I say twice for the most part or add in things that I forget to say like i'll do a voiceover and say it if i forgot to say it while recording so i'm like okay trying to be proactive getting some videos done and y'all i'm editing the video so i usually edit the middle of the video first right even though i have the other the beginning and the end recorded but i always edit the the middle first so i get to edit the the middle or the beginning and the end and I edit it and then I'm looking and I'm like what is that in your nose and so for those of you who don't know I have really really dry skin like my skin just dries up that's why I had to go get my hair washed as soon as I landed because like I just have dandruff and it's bad and so my skin is just super super dry no matter what i do no medication I do, it's just bad y'all after all that editing i look at the beginning and i don't know if it was a dry skin or a booger but it looked like a booger to me and i was like you know what 
So today I was like worried. I was like, you know, as soon as you get home, you need to re-record. And that's for two different videos because I recorded those parts like at the same time. And so I'm like, when you get home, you got to do that. I'm not putting that stress on myself, y'all. I was going to try to do that. I'm like, you know what? Mm -hmm. Not today. I just don't have the energy. I had such a good time this weekend. Not weekend, this week. And it was not stressful. I come home and put stress on myself. But it was the funniest thing, y'all. I was like, I know you lying. I know you don't have a booger in your nose. And it could have been dry skin, but I'm going with a booger. That's what I'm going with. So, I, of course, I could not post it because one of the videos was the unboxing for the Pro Colored um, DTF printer. And if you were here the other night for the live, they sent me that uh, printer. And so I don't didn't really want to go on there, you know, with the video that they sent me the printer and stuff. And I don't want to have no burger in my nose. The other one was a DTV. So with the DTV, the high tech mask works way better than any of the other masks. At least I think so. It works perfectly. So that was the other video. It was for the um, Caesar DTV, but using the high tag mask. And that's what I had going on. So hopefully I'll get to that tomorrow, but I do have plans. Like tomorrow I gotta be a mom. I gotta take Taylor to um, an event. And so I won't, I don't know when I'll be able to get to it, but I'll get to it. I will get to it. When I get to it. I mean, I do like the printer. I do. Hey, Levada or Levada. I'm sorry if I said it wrong, but hey and welcome, Miss Coker. Hey, Tina. Oh, I see my skin so dry. It's a hot mess. It's a hot mess. I'm going to do a clean oven and I'll do it. Yeah, that'd be good. Awesome, Barb. You're going to love it. It's so convenient. It's so convenient. I'm, I miss some in the chat. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. So, Marian, I actually do love, I love um, my printer. I do so far. And I left, I came home, and it's still working just fine. So I'm happy about that because I can't, um, like the 8550, I can't uh, send an operation to it remotely. So I was just like, you know what? I got to go. And so it does have like a SIS system attached to it. But you still, like they still tell you like to... Uh, do your print head cleaning and nozzle check every day. So, uh oh. I think my neighbors are turning their music up even louder. Can you guys hear? Can you guys hear that? It's some Latin music. They're probably dancing, having a good time. But please tell me y'all can't hear it. Terrell, no. <laughs> Why are you here? Why? So, yeah, yo. That's what we got going on today. I don't know if you guys can really see how that's looking now, but it's looking. <laughs> can you guys can hear the. <laughs> It feels like I do, Terrell. It does. It really does. 
I, I didn't know I did until we moved and started playing this loud music. I hope it's muffled enough. If not, it's all good. This is just for relaxation. That is it. I think it's coming out pretty cute. All right, y'all. Let me see. So what else can I tell y'all about this weekend? So the picture, the title, and hey Patrice, the title of the picture is Butterfly Glow. And she is really, really gorgeous. I'll give you guys like a full shot of her. But she's pretty big. It's a pretty big uh, painting. It's a 20 by 26 inch um, canvas. So I figured this will give me, we'll have a few um, sessions where we're whipping and chilling and talking. Because I needed a little break. And she's really, really cute. But oh, that's the name. That's her name. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. And y'all, don't forget to check out my other... Well, I have two other channels, but check out Craft Abilities. We have started our craft um, class and for our students. And while I was away, Terrell actually did something right for a change. He did a decent job, him and um, the other teacher, even though I told him not to let her touch the heat press. And he still let her press the DTF sheets and she got some wrong. But still, you know, everybody got to start someplace. And they pressed some shirts for the cheerleaders that I did the other night. So check it out, y'all. It was pretty good. I was pretty pleased with, with the outcome. Hey, AJ, I got on here because I had so many people I had to call and text that I was... <laughs> that I made it home. And so I was like, you know what? How about you just chill, relax, and do a diamond painting. And then tell everybody that you made it back home safely. We made it back home safely. And I met AJ. AJ was there too, y'all. It was a lot of y'all there. Miss Sonia was there. It was a lot of big camp. Sheila Cushenberry. If y'all ever go on Eve's channel, okay, go on Eve's channel tomorrow night. If you've never seen Eve's channel, she's the baby's booty. And Sheila Cushenberry is like her top moderator. And so every time she says hey to Sheila Cushenberry, she'd be like, hey, Sheila Cushenberry. And so, of course, the entire time, that I was there and I saw Sheila Cushionberry. I had to say it like that. I had to say it like that. So it was really, really, uh oh. Y'all, I should have did. I should just go to the other. You know what? That's what I'm going to do. Before I keep going down, I'm just going to start with the other one. But yeah, it was pretty fun. Hey, Tamika. Thank you, Juana. Yes, y'all. Make sure that y'all head over there and check out Craft Abilities. Terrell actually did something good for a change. For a change, y'all. And the cheerleaders supposedly love their shirts. We actually got some orders from some of the staff there. 
at the school who wants the shirts too. So I thought that that was pretty pretty cool too. Hey, Miss Roslyn. I'm not playing an extra work. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> well, I'm really an introvert. <laughs> AJ. I can't tell that you are, are an introvert. I cannot, y'all, I cannot tell that AJ is an introvert. These are so pretty. There's like an AB coating on here. They're pretty. And these are the diamond drills. It was, it was doing good, but then I started shaking it too much. Hey, Miss, I know. That's what you, you just always like. Hey, she's a cushion berry. And she was so sweet. Everybody was so sweet. Yeah, I promise you, it was like we knew each other already. Like, no, like, it just seemed so like natural. Uh oh, I'm getting too much of this wax all over the place, y'all. It just it was just really, really natural. Really nice. Everybody was super, super friendly. My anxiety wasn't too bad. I really had a good time with y'all. Mm. Oh, but I understand when I'm out, I can be out. Like, I can at least have a good time. But if you go right there, y'all not get missing in a second. But I'll have a good, I can have a good time sometimes. I had a great time. A great time. So we did a lot of the, everybody had like good branding people had on their bling shirts um but seriously was that you with the no that wasn't you who had on that shirt that was in big camp i gotta remember who had on the shirt i saw so many people it was the i may be um wrong but i doubt it shirt that was and the colors were so nice on that shirt but everybody had on their bling shirts. Everybody had on their baby's booty. Um, Mr. McClacken, not Mr. McClacken, Sir McClacken. Mr. McClacken was there. But Sir McClacken's shirt. And that was gorgeous. Everything. We had a good time, y'all. We got to do something more like for crafters. Like that was for crafters, but like. He, it was a little different. Like, if you're ready to elevate your business, you definitely want to attend more events like that, especially if you're ready to elevate your business and take it to the next level. That is for you. Eve's, Eve spoke. She was really good. Gave really good suggestions and was really, really inspirational for anybody who may be considering you know, going into the industry. Lisa Potts was there, and she's another OG bling queen, but she was there, and um, Stan was there, T-shirt side hustle was there, and I think his, his speech is online on YouTube. He had a really, really good motivational speech, very inspiring very real like what i liked everybody was like really transparent in their speeches and like we, that's what you need you don't need somebody to come up and just be like oh you can do it and you you like people who suggest that you could do it and put in little work no everybody up there talked about their work talked about their failures and you need to hear that because guess what we all go through that but you see, you have an example in front of you and you see, okay, well, they failed, but guess what? They were able to rebrand or turn themselves around or, you know, research and put in more work to find out what was going to work for them. So it was really, really 
good. I think that was my favorite part. The Start Here Academy was my favorite part because I told myself that I was not going to buy anything at the convention or at the exhibitors hall, and I didn't. I'm proud of myself for that. I just made it home. Awesome. Glad you made it home, Big Camp. And so, Teresa, you about to set up a conference? Are you going to set up a conference? Let me know. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, AJ was styling and profiling. She was styling and profiling, y'all. And she even had, listen, AJ was walking around with her cup, but she had her, and I met her sister, but she had her, both of them, like branding was a thing. Like, all their stuff was intentional, like they were intentionally branding. So she had her, um, she had a tumbler, but she had her name on it. So she was drinking from a cup with her brand on it, like the entire time. So that's, you know, those, those things may seem small, but look at me, I remember that. Those are things that people remember. And that's what you always want to, want to be. You always want to be memorable. So I thought that was pretty cool. Two hmm. came up on that one. Let's see. We're gonna finish this butterfly and then we'll we're gonna do this in parts, y'all. I'm not doing all of it tonight. We're going to do it in parts. Hey, Mona. Of course, Miss Teresa. Hey, Shalyn. Hey, Karen. Oh, yeah, we're just chatting. Chatting about Graphics Pro Expo. All of the talented people there. Oh, y'all. And Nisha was there. I don't know if you guys know Nisha. Both of you who follow the best you need should know Nisha she was there she's so cute Ooh, that was so many people oh unbiased LLC was there and y'all she had this really okay so she had her she had a jean jacket on and she's been making these patches on online right but y'all in person her jacket is gorgeous gorgeous she had um, different patches all over it. And then she had the nerve to have her hair purple, like, 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 like frosted. It wasn't like purple, purple, but it had like a frosted, like purple look. Like it was mixing really well. She just matched with that jacket. I want that jacket. That jacket was really nice. It was a jean jacket too. Super cute. I'm gonna have to make me a patchy jacket after seeing her jacket. Eve, did you see her jacket? I think yeah, you should have seen it because she wore it. She wore it at the thing at the get together. It was really oh, and Jesse was there, y'all. I love Jesse. That's my second time seeing Jesse. I met. I actually met Jesse. Like Jesse Gibson. I actually met Jesse last year at the um at the Graphics for Expo last year in Charlotte. So it's good seeing him again. So this is what we got, y'all. That so far, so far we did a good amount. I want to get this whole wing and I want to get all of that and possibly get the rest of that while we're on her jacket. I want to make one of those Eve. I got to get my patch game up. My patch game is not patching, so I need to get it up because it was nice. Nice, 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 nice. Oh, we have some people ready to participate. Look at Dempsey's ready. I will definitely participate in a crafters convention, like a true crafters convention. 
I would. I think we had a we had a really 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 good time, um, just meeting everybody. I think that was the highlight of my my time there. Um, uh oh, it was just meeting everybody. That was the best part. Hey Tracy. Hey, Mrs. JB. If I missed y'all, I'm sorry. I put it on subscriber only mode tonight because I think I'm going to do that each live, but like, you know, for the first few minutes so I could at least get a chance to say hi to all y'all. I can chat for a bit. I'm just getting more wax because. We don't even have that much more to go, actually. I want to give me a fancy wax pen. And then after this show, I'm going to go and watch TV, which I haven't done. Well, I'm going to edit that video while watching TV. I'm gonna, cause I already recorded the other two, but I haven't edited it. So I do need to do that. But watch TV for a little bit. Hopefully somebody else will be live and I could watch their live. If somebody's live, I'm not gonna watch TV. I'll watch the live. <laughs> <laughs> Patrice, listen, listen, <laughs> you need to know, y'all, Eve is a gymnast, she is a gymnast, when I tell you, I don't know, she know how to do splits and things, I need to make her a shirt that says splits and things, because y'all, I was like, okay, look at my friend. Making us old folks proud. Uh oh, I got too many. Oh, oh y'all, my hands. Why y'all not telling me my hands are in the way? Let's go to the everything and birdie market in little place. Eve, don't tell me that. <laughs> we need to. <laughs> I'll be down. I think I'm down. I think I'm really down. I don't think I have anything going on next weekend. I do have, let me tell you something. If I get this work done today, well, this week, I have quite a few things to get done this week. If I can get that stuff done, I am so down. Because I really want to. And, oh my goodness, Eve, I want to do some puff embroidery. And it's sitting still here. Oh my goodness, y'all, my my wax is not sticking. I want to do some puff embroidery, and I also want to try the puff um the puff screen print. I saw Alex do it. DIY Alex do do it, and it looked amazing. I want to try it. I want to see if that's like a thing that I like. And I have been fighting myself from getting uh -uh, my wax is too. No, what's wrong? I think it's the wax. Like, it's just not. It's like I got to make sure that it doesn't come pull out of the pen. Mm -mm. But I've been going back and forth about getting a, um, a what you call it, a screen print, printing, like the boards. I've been going back and forth with that. Like the actual station, a screen printing station. That's what it's called. I'm getting, just getting too much wax on here. I don't know why. I don't want wax in my stuff. Uh -oh. 
Dun, dun, dun. If they haven't had one in a while and I miss it, I would like to be pretty good. I know Miss Gray, me too. I haven't participated in the crafters retreat though. Oh. Yeah, you can. I put well, I put actually put it for 10 minutes. Only like nobody else could comment except you guys for 10 minutes. But I think I like that. Maybe do a little more. Yeah. <laughs> Teresa told me, yes, she is flexible, girl. She is flexible. Flexible. All right. <laughs> Evie. Now she did that. She did that. She did. She did. Yes. I'm just putting these in one by one for now. So we're almost done with this part, and I'm making sure y'all. I'm not touching the the adhesive on the other part though. I'm not touching it. Oh, Eve, what are we gonna do for our next our next date night? I don't know. Oh, I know what we're doing. I forgot. I I'm, I remember now. I haven't sold anything in a while though. Which I wanna sew. Okay, we're looking good. We're looking good. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start putting these here. Uh-oh, how did it come up? Yo, my hand is all in your way. Talk about bad angling of the camera and my hands in your way. I'm trying to do it so you guys could actually, oh, <laughs> you could see what I'm doing. But it's not working right for me. I'm so excited for our next date night eve. I'm gonna bring y'all closer so y'all can see what I looks like a little better. Feel the screen print device. That's what I'm, I was thinking. I'm thinking of getting this. Well, somebody's going to send me the station, but I I haven't said yes that I wanted it just yet because I just don't know. Y'all know, I don't know. But I'm thinking of it. But I really want to try that um, puff. They have like a puff additive that you can add to the screen print, and so I need to know if it's only for plastisol ink or if I could use it with the ink that I have. And then Kato has now like a um, an emulsion kit. So I was thinking of trying that out and seeing how that would work. I don't know. I don't know. Just want to try it and see. But it looked really, really cool. Look really cool. Have everything in Puerto Rican market. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, it ain't waxing. It's not. <laughs> Y'all know I'm so far behind. <laughs> if you need to start it, Miss <laughs> Roslyn Eve is listen. She is. I look up to her because one day I will be able to do that. Like she cleared it. But it was so fun. She was having such a good time and laughing. And that's all that matters. Like, we all had, you know, it was like everybody just had a good time. Everybody was in good spirits. It was just really, really good. Really good. All right, I'm going one by one because my wax is acting up. And. I need to get another pen, like another wax tool though. 
That's what I, I need. That might be. I think I, I think I may order one. Janita, I thought I saw Janita earlier. Janita. Oh, y'all is in there. Uh uh. Y'all see all my wax? What type of wax is this? <laughs> AJ, you talking about Eve need a warning? <laughs> he was like, uh uh. It's my party, and I could get low if I want to. And that's what she did. <laughs> Listen, Missy McClackens rushed for, you know, first, first, Eve's mom came rushing over there for her baby, and Eve was like, I'm fine, I'm fine. Miss McClackens was right behind. He was like, what are you doing down here? And she was just laughing so hard and smiling. She was just having a good time. She was just having a good time. She was. <laughs> Tracy. She behaved. She was good. And when she first saw him, she was a hot mess, but she was good. She just talked trash on the internet. That's all she does. She was she behaved. Yo, this is looking really, really, really good. Look at that one. And so for those of you who just came in, like this is the like none of this is on. Like but this is our, uh oh, I keep forgetting I have my other attachment on tonight. But this is what she looks like. I'll show you the full picture. This is only half. The, the picture or the canvas is like a 20 by 26. So it kind of has like her upper half, the upper half of her body with like butterflies around. Really, really pretty. There's quite a few um, AB drills with this. Uh, diamond painting, but super, super nice, super, super nice. It's coming together though. Uh oh, can you let me go up? Let me go up. Let me go up. She is gorgeous. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's at AB Stone. It's in the wax. Really doesn't work well on it. Oh, the wax. Yeah, these are AB. Most of this is this whole painting um, is a lot of AB. So is that why Kenya? Then yeah, it's mostly AB. Um, I got this one from the Diamond Art Club. If you are new to Diamond Art. Um, paintings. I do have a link in my description. You could get 20% off if you are interested in these or if you just like watching me do these. It's relaxing and chatting and talking, then that's fine too. But if you are interested in actually doing one, it's 20%, get 20% off. I find this to be really relaxing. And I have not had a moment to like really do it, like to get get it done. And so I'm glad that you guys are here with me today. I'm just gonna get a little bit of it done and then work on it. I want to be finished with it by October, like by the end of October at least, because this is a pretty big painting. It's a pretty, pretty big painting. I see the green floral putty when I done. So green, use green floral putty. I gotta try that then. Cause this is all I've been using is the wax. I've, I've, I haven't tried anything else. I really hadn't thought, you know, 
to try anything else. So thank you, Miss Gray. If I hadn't thought about it. I think we were just blinging, doing a different type of bling tonight. Um, Everly. <laughs> so I've been using Everly for everything, like that has to do with um bling. That's been my my script plot that I really love. I don't know if you've tried Everly yet, but Everly works really, really good. Everly works great, actually. I don't know how to give me some tea tonight. And choose the tweezers. Okay. But definitely try a really angel bee. Oh no, y'all. I'm like making an extra mess over here. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. But my butcher call that won't stick down. But that's a goal. Alright. I'm really trying not to mess this up too bad so i'm gonna bring this here and i have my magnets because that's what i end up doing i'm gonna use the tweezers on the ab stones okay what to place it can you i'm gonna make a mess So I just put a piece of, um, I put my magnet there to help me. The magnets usually help me. What are you saying? Put like a, use the tweezers to, ooh, and yeah. I'm not good with that. That's a lot. Look, I can't even pick it up. Alright, uh, try some more. Can you wait? When are you gonna go live with your diamond painting? Or have you and I just missed you? That's possible too. I maybe put a few videos, but I haven't seen. Oh, I need to do my. um other stones right there because that's what you're supposed to do like section it off right so because i have this exposed i need to go ahead and put the other stones in there so we'll go ahead and do that too in a minute get that all squared away Rocks. I get it and then done. Thank you, Tuesday. Do you guys have anything planned for tomorrow? I should be doing some other work, but I am doing this because this makes me happy. And talking to y'all makes me happy. And we need to catch up. When I'm not in a hot mess and trying to make something and it goes wrong. Just a nice chill. Yes, can you, you, are you planning on going live or you have been live? I know you did a video, but being at work, I can't really see a lot when I go to work. I only have my lunch and even at lunchtime, like I, I don't really have lunch because it's like lately it's been like a lot of situations, but that's kind of common for the beginning of the school year. Where are my teachers at? How are your years going? 
Let me know. Miss Roslyn, how's your year going? Any other teachers out there? Y'all, and I met Danny. And, oh, y'all. Okay, so I met Danny, and Danny's sister is me. She's she's a crafter. She is a survivor. And she's a special education teacher. And she's a Leo. Imagine with the same exact things like me. And I met Latricia. And Latricia is so sweet in person. I don't know if you guys know Latricia, but you should know Latricia. She's here sometimes. Um, she has a channel. She has a YouTube channel that she just recently started. And she does all the things like us, too. And she does all the things. And so she's embroidered. We're actually going to work on an embroidery project together for Gynecological Cancer Awareness Month. I know it's kind of coming towards the end of it, but she had seen the live the other night, and we're going to work on something together. So I'm excited about that. I met Latricia. Who else? There was so many people. Uh oh. I can't wait for our next one and hopefully more people will be able to come all right it's looking good it's it's looking pretty good hey Delonda Delonda we're just relaxing at night girl just doing a diamond painting. How are Delanda? I was just asking everybody how their school year is going. How is your school year going? I hope it's going well. Mine is going pretty good. I did get a new student while I was away. And I need to see about that on Monday on TikTok. Oh, I need to do more live. I'm going to start going live on TikTok. Cause I read, like, I, I think the last time I went live on TikTok was when I was doing that Tumblr press. And then we, I think that's when I was doing it, when I was checking the Tumblr. So I was live on TikTok and YouTube at the same time. I need to go on TikTok more. I just forget. I a lot. I miss a lot, y'all, to remember, but I need to go on there a little bit more. And so I'm making sure that I don't touch. Uh oh. Why y'all didn't tell me y'all couldn't really see? Our butterfly is coming together. Look how pretty. Y'all can't even see the like A B in it that well, but it's so pretty. Our paperwork trying to make sure we bring our workers back. Mm. Oh, Roslyn, y'all, we have two. And so we've been, um, you know, like the five day draft we've been having. And at the beginning of the year, it's kind of hard because, like, when you have like IEPs that are due at the very, like, the very first few weeks of school, you haven't really had, and then it's a new student, like, you haven't really had a chance to fairly assess the students, not just um, test-wise, or, you know, like, with the, I don't know if you guys do, like, the DAR, like, the reading assessments or math assessments, but just to really know the students to, you know, because sometimes the tests don't tell everything about the students, uh, most times they don't tell everything about the students, so we've been dinged on that with like the five day drafts. And so I feel bad processing a five day draft for a student that I've only seen two or three times, if that. But that's all they care about, you know? It has to be a better way. And I understand being in compliance and everything, like you have to, you know, but I prefer to have accurate information and imagine like a student that has a new teacher at the beginning of the year every year 
you know, and that teacher doesn't know them, like, is that information ever 100% accurate? I don't know. Can we ask him too much? Too much? Got two new students. Oh. Oh, no. That's hard. And then there really is a huge shortage, y'all, in, in education. There's really a huge shortage. And so in situations like that, it's kind of, it's really, really hard. Do you guys have like a um, behavior tech that could help out? Because any other students are impacted by that because then, you know, you can't teach because you're only focusing on that, you know, especially when it becomes where it's, it's violent. That's why it's kind of hard. Oh yeah, I'm just trying to pull back the, okay, I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna finish this. We'll put some there and then like get here and there and then we're gonna be done. What time is it? 8.50? Yeah, no, we're not going to be. We may not even do that much. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we're going to do that much, y'all. I think I'm going to go get ready for bed, edit those videos, watch some TV, and go to bed. But I did get a lot of rest in Carolina. A lot. I'm gonna piss my son at school. Oh, drive safely, Delanda. No worries. It's okay if you can't tag. I usually run and get the phone, get the computer because you can't, like, I can't tag on the phone. But somebody said that one time, like, I tagged them, but I don't know if you got to type in their whole name in order for it to, like, show up highlighted. I don't know. I know, Ms. Roswell. That's the hard part. Like, being a, a sped teacher is not... It's not easy. It's it's very rewarding, and I always tell people, like especially with my ASD students, like there's so many different traits and characteristics of ASD students, um, and each each person is different, just like us. Like we're different, and you can't categorize all students with ASD as the same or having the same behaviors or the same, you know, characteristics. You you can't because they're all different. And for me, that's what makes it fun because every day is a different day. One day I may have a student who loves me and just wants to hug me. And then the next day, he bust my lip. Like you just never know. Now I don't have to deal with that too much because I deal more so with students with learning disabilities, but I still have some students who are on the spectrum. But y'all, it's it's not easy. Like we are on a roller coaster sometimes. And it's rewarding. And on those days when everything goes right, it's a beautiful day. And then on those other days, oh, it's hard. It's hard. So I understand, Miss Roslyn. I understand. And then sometimes the hardest part is. Like, I always tell new teachers, and even teachers who I come, sometimes have to work with, like, you have to give these students, um, you have to be forgiving. Every day has to be a new day. And I know, yo, when I tell you, it's sometimes that the students are really a hot mess. Like, it's hard. 
And if it was somebody on the streets, you would not forgive them. Like, y'all be ready to fight. But you have to give them a, a fair chance. You have to give them a, a new opportunity every day. And it's hard sometimes. It's hard for people to do that. And I, I understand. I have students who will curse people out. Curse people out, threaten them. And like when you can't get rid of them, like they're your, your students. Well, you could, there are certain ways that you can, but at the same time, where are they gonna go? It's just different. It's different. All right, so we're done with that. We're done with this color. Looks, it's looking good, y'all. It's looking good. Hey Saskia, so I'm doing a diamond painting now. I'm doing a diamond painting um, from Diamond Art Club. It's just for like, I find this like, you have people who really do this for the love of diamond painting and art and that sort of thing. I'm doing it for the love of relaxation and sanity and just needing to kind of use my brain for something different right now because kind of need a little break and so that's what i'm using this as as a break as a and it, it kind of psychs me out because i still feel like i'm working like i have work that i need to be doing y'all let me get the other color So I have work that I need to be doing and I want to do that work. I want to do that, but I um, I know that I shouldn't do it only because I probably won't really be able to put 100% into it and then I'll end up working twice because I'll do it now and then I'll see something tomorrow that I don't really like about it and then I'll have to fix it. and. To avoid that, I'm gonna do, I'm doing this so that I'm like psyching myself out, I'm relaxing, I'm chilling with y'all in good company, but I'm still doing something. And so it just makes me feel better. It's like a mental thing. It makes me feel like I'm doing something and I'm not just like not doing anything, if that makes sense. Do any of you ever feel like that or is that just me? Yes, Ms. Drop. They deserve that every single day. They deserve a fresh start every single day. Hey, MC from Casey. Every single day they do. And that's the hard, you know, that's the hard part for some people. And that's what I tell like people I work with, like that I know, I know how horrible that was. I know I just told the teacher that last week. I said, I know how bad it was. I know. I know that was unacceptable. I know that if if he was your child, I know that you don't play the radio. And I know that there would be consequences. But guess what? He's not your child. And we're here to teach him. And he has to be given a fair chance every day. I've had teachers who don't forgive students. Like, they will tell, nope, keep your apology. Well, why? No, don't don't make them keep their apology. They're like for some of them to come and apologize. That's a big step. But you have they'll be like, nope. I don't I don't accept your apology. I'm like, mm mm. Because believe me, there are some kids that just don't care. They don't care if you're mad at them or not. I do not care. All right, that did not lay exactly how I wanted it to lay down, but it's okay. It's okay. All right. Sorry for making all that noise, but that's what we got so far. Didn't lay right. <laughs> Oh, 
But yeah, that's kind of, I don't know, Miss Rosalyn. But I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope next week is better. Because it just needs to be better. It's rough. We have so many teachers who are walking away from teaching. And it's not, it's really not because of the kids. Mm-hmm. Let me see. Oh. All right, I'm going to put some here and then we're going to fill in that and then what time? Oh, it's past my bedtime. Miss <laughs> Roslyn, I'm telling you, that you, you would be like the things that I've seen. It's not, it's not good. It's not like I, I see where you put kids out of their classroom and no, they can't come back. And I get it. I get you don't like the disrespect. I get it. I don't like disrespect either. I don't. But at the same time, like, not that it should be a part of the job, but y'all, we have parents who, at least I know at my school, it's like, how, like, I can't hold it against the students because the parents, the parents be off the chain. The parents be outrageous. The parents, the parents will come to the school to fight with the kids, and then everybody else is wrong. So, yeah, you just can't. You can't hold it against them. I have an extra one there. And it's not that the kids don't get on my nerves too. They do. Sometimes they do. But for the most part, my kids understand. Like I think like my students on my caseload, I had them last year, so we can't we kinda know each other. And we kind of built up a rapport with each other. So they kind of know. They kind of understand me a little bit. Oh, y'all. So the Best Buddies, y'all know um, the sponsor for Best Buddies. We've been working with our students with cognitive disabilities and we started the coffee shop back up and they absolutely love doing the coffee shop so the coffee shop is we have it in the mornings for um the teachers and so they um they come so my kids my study hall kids they come during study hall and then the coffee shop is located in one of the special education classes and so they work with um they work with the students and develop like job skills and you know they they kind of show them how to greet people it really helps with socialization skills so these are um, students without disabilities who are partnering with students with disabilities various disabilities and i absolutely love it so next week we have rush week i might come back on a little bit in the morning that's oh my goodness y'all that's what i should have been doing so we have rush week next week and so i need to do us a tablecloth and i need to do like some shirts because i want to do like some giveaways for some of the kids who are going to join um and do like a you know for a fresh like a giveaway for each class for like a freshman sophomore and junior so i might do like a little gift basket or so i gotta go get baskets though or whoever wins. I was thinking of a bling shirt, but like bling shirts and then like a bling shirt that says class of 2024. And then, you know, 
all the other years. And then they would be able to win that. Oh Marilyn, I love it. You too, Tracy. I'm about to I'm about to head head off in a minute. Just putting a few more stones on, but Marilyn, I love best buddies. Love best buddies. We have such a good time. And I see so many like genuine friendships where the students really look out. And my best buddy's president is amazing. She's amazing. Like she pretty much comes up with comes up with all of the events. And so she's planning like to do like a bi-weekly lunch um, with the students where all of them have lunch together. And so I'm really excited about that. She went to the retreat over the summer and she really learned a lot and she's excited. So I'm excited too. <laughs> no. Yep. So we did quite a we did quite a bit for this butterfly. I'm gonna finish the inside. I'm not gonna finish the rest of that. I'm gonna finish the inside, and then we're going to call it a night because time. I have good parents. They all have my number and call me Miss Ross, and I. Don't, <laughs> that's me. I still have parents who still call me, and I'm not their kids' teachers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. I, I have parents who still call me and I'm not, I had one parent who sent a, an email and the baby hasn't been my student for two years, y'all. But guess who was CC'd in the email? Me. I don't even teach in the same area anymore. And then when something goes wrong, they still call me. And they always make sure, you still at the school, right? Yeah, okay, great. <laughs> but they also know that I still spend a lot of time with them. Like I still go down to see them every single day. Like, and at the in the morning at the bus loop i'm there in the afternoon at the bus loop i'm there in fact the other day i was there and i was coming from my portable with terrell we went to go get something because y'all my portable has been busted i have not been able to even beat my portable and i love my portable you know, kids, kids can't have all the parties we want because we're not in the portable now, but it's okay. But one of the students was left there. Not even my student was let the bus. Somehow he got left off the bus. Well, I, I know how he got left off the bus. It was his fault. But I ended up staying after school with him for an hour and a half until somebody could come pick him up. I absolutely love, I love it. Not always easy to. And I always tell people like, the kids can't know that you don't like them. So I had a teacher say, well, you just like all the students. I was like, no, believe it or not, I don't. Y'all, if you think that every teacher likes all of their kids, they don't. I said, I don't. And so she asked me, she, she was like, well, which student don't you like? I have a list. And she was like, but he's always with you. Like, you always look out like he's always getting help from you or something. I'm like, yeah. I said, because that's what I'm supposed to do. I said, he should never know any personal feelings that I may feel. But guess what, y'all? I absolutely love him now because he... He can tell, kids can tell. They they can tell when it's something different. Cause he said, a student asked me something and he asked me like the same thing like before. And another student asked me. And so he was like, 
why you didn't say it to me like that? And so I thought, I was like, how did I say it? And he was like, you sound so nice and sweet when you said to him and me, you just said it like, no, that's not the case. Or like something like that. And I was like, hmm, maybe I did. And he was like, well, I was like, because with you, I have to be more serious because you don't listen. Like if I tell you to do something, you don't. And I told him why I said, if I tell you to do something, you don't do it until it benefits you. And by that time, we were having like a code red and everybody code red. We're supposed to be like really quiet and you're not supposed to move. We don't know if it's real or not. And y'all and where I work, we have a lot of code reds because there's a lot of things going on in the neighborhood. And so, and where my class is positioned, this was last year, where my class is positioned, like we don't have the option to run out because running out would be putting us in danger or anything like that like we can't and so i told them i'm like i told you guys it was a serious situation you chose not to to listen you're letting your phone ring so like i can't i don't understand why and i have i have high schoolers you know that was the last time i ever had any issue with him when i told him i'm like that's like you have to know when to be serious you have to know when to listen like you don't listen at the 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 right times or the wrong times like you just choose not to like everything with him like everything is combative like no 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 oh what like if you tell me to do something it's going to be a thousand whys and i'm like by the time you finish asking me why the period is done i haven't been able to get anything done now, when I tell you he's such a different student, I absolutely love him now. <laughs> but I told her, I was like, yeah, there are students, but they should never know. If they ever know that, then you, you're the problem, not them. You may not like what they do. You don't have to agree with it, but you still have to, you still have to treat them with respect every single day. And you have to teach them and the way that you behave the way that you act that means a lot like your kids need to to see you modeling the behavior you want them to have well some people get it some people don't i get it but i don't really get it that's somebody's child and then i have parents who tell me girl i can't do <laughs> I called the parent. <laughs> I've had a parent tell me, "Girl, I can't do nothing with him. I don't even know what you want me to say because I can't. I can't do nothing with him." I'm like, "Okay, ma'am. I'm sorry for calling you. Not in a bad way, but you know, it's just, you know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry." So I just told her, "Well, let's just, you know, let's work together. Let's see, you know, what works best for him." And if I find a strategy, I told him, like, if I find something, if I find a strategy that works with him, I'm going to let you know. And he's like, please do. I mean, sometimes it, everybody is, a, I hear a lot of times where people are quick to blame the parents for their kids. But all well, these kids have a mind of their own, a mind of their own. And it's not the parents' fault. Sometimes it's not. Sometimes the parents be all down for the shenanigans. But for the most part, it's not their fault. We're almost done with this, but y'all, that's all we're doing. We're doing this last little wing. I haven't even looked at the chat yet. Hey, Kirsten, girl. Yes. Yes, we have, we have quite a few. We have, we have maybe like seven but in the seven there's only two classes my class another support class because we don't really have room inside of the building another support class and um is so when we moved out there they did not want us to move out there 
admin. Somehow we ended up out there. I'm not going to tell you how we ended up out there, but somehow we ended up out there because they did not want us out there because it really, like, it's a safety thing and getting to us and just having everybody in. But my kids, they hate being in the school. They don't like being in the school. So this year has been challenging for them being inside of the school. And the problem is, is because, so I have students who have like their SOD, which is like a specific learning disability, ASD, which is autistic, like, you know, on the spectrum. Um, I have students for ADHD, I have students who are EBD, like those are students with emotional and behavioral um, issues. I have like a lot of, or challenges, I like to say challenges. I have a lot of students with so many different things going on. And so one of my class periods, I have a class period with maybe about 22 kids in it. And so in that class period, I have not all of my kids, but I just have like maybe 22, 23 kids, but I have like a lot of different situations going on. And so depending on the day, my kids can be very loud and for the most part they're quiet if so the most part they'll they'll be they're not quiet they my class is never you can drop a pin in it and hear it you can't it's never going to be like that because i have so many different situations going on but i also let my kids have some type of freedom in my class and I find that that is one way that I can really like connect with them and get to them and understand that I have a student who needs to walk around and inside of their IEPs, they some of them have where they have to walk around, you know, and a lot of places, like a lot of classes, the teachers don't like that, but it's still part of their disability and things that they should be able to do. And it's actually, it helps them to learn you know, people may say, oh, why do I have to do well? It at the same time, yeah, he's doing that, but he's walking away, he's going back completing a problem. And the time that you spend arguing with him to sit down, you know, nothing is getting done. So when they come to my class, they know my class is a safe space. And that's why I like to be in the portable because they know that my class is a safe space. It gives them a chance to kind of walk. So they have to walk from the building to my to my portable so it gives them time it gives them a chance to get some fresh air which they wouldn't be able to do if they weren't in my class so it gives them a chance to get some fresh air it gives them a chance to walk around to stretch you know just to just to be them and to do them so when they get to my classroom i know that they've been in the classroom some of these teachers are super hard um and it's not really hard it's structured. Some of them are really, really structured. And for some kids, that just doesn't work. And I know we say, well, it should, you know, the society, well, it, it don't work for them. And they're still learning how to deal with what's going on with them, you know? So when they get to me, I have some kids who just be like, oh, Ms. Wilson, I just need to sit under the desk for a little bit. And you know what I tell them? Go sit under the desk. As long as they tell me, like, don't just go sit, like, tell me, because I need to know what's going on with you. When you get from under the desk, what's wrong with you? What happened? And then they'll be able to tell me, like, once they stop. But, like, I have a different type of class. Like, I can still, if I don't let that one student sit under the desk who wants to sit under the desk for a few minutes or whatever is going on with him, I'm not going to be able to teach the rest of the kids any strategies or help them with any work because that one kid, because I didn't let him sit under the desk and he probably really needs to. And what I call that, when they asked me, I told them, if you talk to me about something, we won't have a problem. If you tell me, you don't have to tell me your business, but if you tell me, listen, I need to, I need to just go to the bathroom or I need to do whatever, let me know. So that way, you know, I'm not just saying like, oh, well, you're skipping my class or you're not coming because I teach them to self-advocate for themselves. If you need to sit under a desk, just let me know that you need to sit under the desk. Don't just sit under the desk. Tell me because, you know, I need to know. And so when I let them sit under the desk, guess what? Sometimes they take the, the one student, sometimes he'll take his work under the desk with him and work. 
Sometimes he may not take it depending on what's going on. And then when he's done, he'll get up and he'll sit and he'll do the work. But if I don't let him do that, y'all, I won't be able to teach the kids. I won't be able to teach anybody anything else. He'll be like, he, he will be just doing a lot of different things. And so, yeah. So when my kids need to talk, I let them talk. And so they miss being in the in the portable this year because I'm like we're next to another class and I'm telling him telling them like listen you guys got to be quiet why are you making us be quiet we you know we're doing the work as long as they're doing the work they can talk as long as they're like as long as we're doing something productive they can they can you know they can talk they can get up and walk around. They can eat because we have tons of food all the time. So that's fine, but I feel bad because I gotta keep telling them to be quiet, sit down, don't do this. And they're just, and they're really being patient. And that's another thing, like you gotta communicate with people, even if they're, you know, your, your students. And I told them, listen, we're inside, we're next to another class. We cannot interrupt this other class. They're working too. We work a little differently, but they've been really good about it. So I'm happy about that, but still, they do better when they don't have so many restrictions. But we'll see. All right, I'm going to show you guys the painting as a whole in a minute when we still have a lot to do y'all y'all know we're not doing that tonight though but we still have a lot to do and so we'll finish it we'll do a little piece after a while for some days yeah yep miss Roslyn that's how I feel too some days it's, but you just, I love what I do. I love the population that I teach. I could teach anything. Yo, I have my, I have a K through six. I have a English um, nine through 12. I have reading, like I have so many certifications that I, I don't have to do um, special education, but I don't want to teach anybody else except these babies. That's all. It's it's challenging sometimes. That's why I miss right, but it's worth it. It is so worth it. All right, I'm just putting up our diamond drills, and we are going to. If I didn't see you when you came in, I'm so sorry. Hey, Shirley. <laughs> Kirsten, we had so much fun. Don't worry. There's going to be another time. I keep telling everybody there is going to be another another time. Um, don't worry. We had a great time. We really did. But mm -mm. things happen. Life happens. All right, I'm just taking this off. We are going to peel it back. Thank you for hanging out with me tonight for this diamond painting situation. I appreciate y'all. I'll probably do. So this is the whole painting right here. Well, it kind of goes like a little bit. See, so that's the end, but it's pretty long. It's a 20 by 26. It's a 20 by 26 and it is AB butterfly glow. So most of these have the AB coating on them. And so it's, it's going to be really, really pretty. So the only places where I've placed rhinestones, I'll bring you guys a little closer. And so I'm going to because what you guys told me, I need to section it off. So let's say I'm going to do this 
right? And then, so I'm gonna get this done. I kind of started over here on this butterfly too, but I'm gonna get this done, like from here to here, so then cover that bun, and then cover this part. And we're gonna, hopefully I'll get that done within, within a month. <laughs> but this is a pretty big one. This is way bigger than the other one that I used. Thank you, Nicole and Fab. Hey, Kevin. No worries, Kevin. I just came, I just hopped on tonight just to do this, just to relax a little bit. I feel good right now. We talked some, or at least I talked some. Y'all listen to me rambling about my students. But this is what we have. This is, and so from what I understand, y'all, I'm supposed to cut off, I'm not gonna cut this off yet until I do the, you know, until I get a nice sharp edge, but I'm supposed to cut off the plastic as I go, right? Uh, yeah, oh no, this would be really, really pretty. So this is what we have. So this is the part, look how pretty that is, y'all. So we have all that done, right? Up to right here. These don't have the AB coating on them, but they're sparkly. And then I have some of the hair, like just a little bit of that blue hair right there done. And then over here, uh oh, <laughs> that little piece of butterfly. That's so it's the same, it's gonna have like the same color as the other butterfly does, but we kind of have like the purple and that turquoise, which looks cute. But we are pretty much done for tonight because I was gonna, I thought I was gonna be done at 40, in like 45 minutes, I think I said, right? Yo, didn't I say like 45 minutes will stay on, but it's all good. I appreciate y'all hanging out with me tonight. I missed y'all last night. Um, I just needed to do something to relax and chill. It. Nicole, are you are you on your way home? Or are you already home? Let me know. Nicole was there, y'all. Well, there were a lot of different vendors. Of course, y'all saw the Caesar. Um, the Caesar Juliet, which is going to be the Caesar's Caesar's. Caesars. <laughs> it's going to be Caesars latest cutting machine or new cutting machine. There's going to be two versions. There's going to be one that's 12 inch, but really he said it's going to be like 13 inches and then there's going to be another one that's 24 inches, but you can put smart material in it. Um, it, it it's almost like kind of similar to the solo as far as it being um, matless, like you can use a mat where you don't have to use a mat with it. Uh, so it looks really, really great, and it's a beautiful machine. And the design software, he went through the design software with us, and the design software looks pretty easy to learn. Um, it has, like, a little more features than, like, a Cricut Design Space, different things that you can do, and you can export your images out. So anything you create inside of that software, oh, I'm going to take butterfly glow off the screen. Hey y'all, but anything you create inside of the software, you will be able to export it out. So I thought that was really good, um, you know, because if you're gonna be creating in it, why can't you use it other places? So that's what, hey Latricia, I was talking about you earlier, Latricia. Latricia was there too. Yeah, so the 13, the smaller one, um, which is going to be up to like 13 inches wide. I'm saying 12 inches. He told me it's going to be like a 13 inch, a 13 and a half inch uh, space platen. Um, that one's going to be $4.99. The 24 inch one is going to be seven. I think he said $7.99. It's 700 and something, almost $800 for the 24 inch one. So if you have a cutter, you know, you may not want that. You'll see it. 
Like there's gonna be so many people showing it to y'all. So, but it is going to be, there's gonna be two of them, but it looks very, very simple. Very, very simple to use. It does look easy. Oh, and print and cut. So print and cut, you're going to be able to print as large as the space that you have for print and cut with this machine. Of course, you're still going to have to print within margins, right? But you're not limited to a specific size, only based on the platen size. So let's say you're going to have your 12 by whatever. So you can cut how many ever inches wide that you have. So I would say maybe like 11 and a half inches wide or however, you know, you can fit those more, still have those margins on there so that the machine will know where to cut, but then you can cut as long as you need to. Kind of like the Solo. You know, with the Solo, you don't have to, you're not limited to a length um, with the Solo. You are limited to the width, um, which is like 13 inches wide or so. But I'm really happy you know that's i'm really happy to hear that like that there's no limits for that so you will be that's one of, i think that's one of the things that will sell it is because there it's you're not limited that much of course you're not gonna be able to cut something you know but with the 24 inch one you'll be able to cut even wider with the 24 inch um model so, and he was saying like, you know, the same thing, you'll be able to cut fabric with it. There's different things that you'll be able to cut with it. Um, they're still testing out some things to cut um, and getting different blades ready and things like that. But y'all, you, you, it's it looks really good. It really did. $4.99, that's kind of almost about the same price as, that's, as the Solo is. The Solo was what, like $4.79? No, it might have been $4.99. So it's about the same price as the Solo. But with the Solo, you can cut, you know, 16 inches wide as opposed to the Juliet, which is just like that 12 inch or 13 inch um, width. But I still think I still think it's pretty good. Um, I can't wait to see it and use it. And see how it, it really it really is, but I'm excited about that, y'all. Hey Roxanne, Roxanne, how those grandbabies, girl? How are those grandbabies? All right, guys. Do so you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, or complaints? Please let me know. Please let me know. Right, I'm just I'm just packing up while I'm talking to you guys. Packing back up my diamond art case that I love. I'm gonna put a in the chat, well, not in the chat, in the description. I'll put a link to it. Again, Penley told me about this, and so let me organize a little better. But I do have some that's a little out of place they're getting big i cannot believe they will be four months time is flying by time is flying it seemed like they were just born roxanne roxanne have you been making them all the things what have you been making them i know you've been making them stuff i just know it I will want the Romeo when it comes out. Yeah, that's gonna be pretty nice. I think it's gonna. I think it's gonna be really nice. I'm excited about it. But don't take my word because y'all know I'd be excited for everything. So don't don't listen to me. My excitement is pretty much always there. It's really nice too. Yeah, that XR feature, but Cricut doesn't allow you to do that. So I think they just like to keep everything, you know, in their program, but 
these companies are coming hard for picket. Like you have a lot of people like they're I think what's happening is that these companies are listening to what everybody is saying that they want and then they're creating products that can do what everybody wants. And so it, it's really attractive to everybody. That print and cut alone. I know I think silhouette can cut print and cut larger. I just I just don't use um silhouette which i am going to start using a silhouette evie and i but oh that's the only the only thing well, i'm just i'm re doing my because with the new diamond art painting the color codes the color codes or the numbers are different so hey miss marissa the color codes are different and I'm just making sure that I have them all in the right place because I plan on getting serious about this one. I need to get more done. I need to get more done. Okay, perfect. So yeah, from one to just say establish is one thing to Oh, I can't believe it, Miss Roxanne. I knew you were going to go overboard. I just knew it. We don't have to make them some onesies or something. Or something. I don't know. I don't know. Hold on, y'all. Did I do the right thing? Miss uh -oh. Barb, I got the four. It's still, I have not taken it out yet. <laughs> I have not, I have not touched it. And even I got work to do. So, uh, I don't know. I have not touched it. I've been so impressed with my solo as of late that and I need to. So I need to see when Eve, well, before Eve and I are not doing, I know on, on our next date night, we're not going to do any silhouette stuff. We're doing M1 um, stuff because Eve has the M1 now. Did you, if, I don't know if you guys were on her live on Sunday, but she did show us that she has the M1. And so we are going to do a date night with the M1. Oh, I can't wait to see that. I made my first bucket hat today. Came out cute. Oh, Miss Marissa, you guys sent us a picture so we could see. Are you going to post it on Facebook? I want to see a bucket hat. I need to sew something. I haven't sold. I haven't really sold anything in a while. Um, I think I'm going to do a hat video. Like on embroidering a hat. I did make some hats for the security manager at my school to match the logo on the shirt. Like I embroidered it. And it came out pretty good. But y'all, okay, one of them came out really, really good. And then the other one came out with like a tilt or a slant or something. Like I didn't really like how that came, like that came out. Like, I don't know if it was because of how I had it positioned, but what I do want to know is, okay, so when I did the hat and even though I pulled it down, is there a way for me to move the bar further down? Because no matter what I did, you know, with the Rakoma, you only have a small like area that you could do it. She posts things in the. Okay, I got y'all know I never go in Discord. Like I go in Discord when I think like, oh my god, you haven't been in Discord, so I'll go in there and then I forget to go back. Oh, I gotta do better. Where's Mary Warzak? I gotta do better. So. Like the the part of the hat, like it's. The bar only goes so far up, so I can't even get it close to the brim of the hat. Like, I can't get it close 
So I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I'm probably doing something wrong. I probably have a position wrong. I don't know. But I said I was going to try to figure it out. But I don't think I'm going to have time to figure it out this weekend. Tomorrow. Oh, I still got some more diamond jewels to put in. Teresa, well, why don't you plan to take it out with Even I? Even I will be doing M1 um, projects on the first Friday of October. Y'all, we are already headed into October. Oh, my goodness. It just feels like we are celebrating the holidays and we're already going into October. But we'll be using the M1 October, um, the first Friday in October. So, Teresa, why don't you unbox yours with us? Anybody have any of their machines still in the box? Can you tell me if you guys have any of your machines still in the box? Because I was going to plan to do a, um, like, a cricket situation, like, unbox or dust off your cricket, And we can, like, just kind of do it together and do some easy projects to get people back up and going with their machines. Yes, Teresa, I'm so excited to hear that. Hey, Karen, you're not late. It's all good. You're not late, you made it, you're here. That's all that's, that matters. <laughs> Right. <laughs> well, I don't mind. I don't mind Mr. Clackens coming on. That's my friend. Half of the listing of the bill. So, but, but Barb, it won't even go that low for me. It, it's like I should have. I should have had it up and going now. But I don't know if I'm exp like. It's just so far up. It's so far up. Well, Latricia, I don't have a cover stitch, Latricia. I just have the serger. I mean, we could do a serger project, and we can we can unbox and dust off some some sergers and cover stitches. We could do something like that. So we already got. So we're gonna we have this M one. So if you have an M one, or your D one, or any other laser still in a box. Even I will be lasering and burning things up on the first, I don't even know what date that is. Let me see, on the first Friday of October. And you guys are welcome to join us in unboxing and burning up something too. But if you have, you wanna make sure you're in a ventilated area. That's the one thing that you definitely wanna make sure of um that you're in a ventilated area before using any of the lasers or you have um an air filter and x1 just sent me their their air filter i should unbox it with y'all real quick but this is supposed to be about diamond painting so i'll do that in a video i gotta i'm not gonna do it now i'm tired y'all so marissa you need to take yours out hope to get out of the box i want him here too Okay, that's fine. And then by the time we do, by the time we do the our date night, which is going to be, um, calculator calendar. Eat. Okay, so our date night is going to be October seventh. We still have. Oh my goodness, that's a long time from now. October seventh. Oh, Eve, Eve, can you think it's possible that we may can reschedule? So October 7th, when's the last, I gotta call, I gotta call you Eve, we gotta talk about this and see maybe if we could do, if we can, I'll talk to you. You know, I got the thing, the, what is, what is it that I'm going to, I can't even think of the name of it right now. Um, let me stop talking before I say the wrong thing. <sighs> but even I, so make sure if you guys are, are in the need of unboxing 
dusting off lasers. Now it's the time to get ready to do it. Now it's the time. Down with the arrows, just make sure you trace the design. Okay. Let me just see. I still need to get a cutter. Any recommendations? Um, Kevin, I would say, I don't know. <laughs> the problem is, is that I've used too many cutters. Um, what is it that you're trying to do? And like, for somebody who's just getting into crafting, I still think and I believe that the Cricut machine is one of the easiest machines to get started with. Even design space, super easy to get started with. I absolutely love my Cricut, um, especially like when I really wasn't familiar with everything. It's the easiest machine to get started with. And you can do very, very nice projects with it. Um, as far as other things, like like if you want to do things like with print and cut, I would go with the Solo. Like I love the Solo, but I don't have any experience with a Cameo machine to tell you, you know, not to do with the Cameo. So I think you just should kind of like look around and look at the different cutters that they have out here and then make that decision based off of like, you know, do a little research, look and see what the Cricut's doing, look and see what the Cameo's doing, what the, the StarCraft is doing. And there are other cutters out there too. So I would just do research and see, like if you have experience with design and you don't need like that, like Cricut kind of is very, very basic design space is very basic even though they're adding a lot of upgrades to it um they're changing a lot like i think over the past year they've added a lot of different things in cricket design space even like i was excited in doing cartwheels when they added the offset feature so i only see them adding more things but look and see like with Cameo, you have the Silhouette software. So with the Silhouette software, you definitely could do a lot more with that software than you can with Design Space. So it's really based on your needs and um, what, you, what you're going to be using it for. If you're doing rhinestones, I'm going to tell you go with the StarCraft Solo. <laughs> That's what I use for it, but I don't know. So any of you out here use the um, use your Cameo for, for rhinestones? I'm sure there's tons of you who, who use it for rhinestones. I've even used my M1 for rhinestones. And let me tell y'all, the M1 cut the flock really, really nicely. Perfectly. I actually use the, the leather setting in the M1 to cut the flock. Might have been just a little bit too much. I could maybe like dial it down a little bit, but it cut those holes beautifully. Beautifully. So, but the only thing with the M1 is, is that it's a lot slower. It's way slower than, um, it's way slower than the Star, way, the StarCraft can cut that flock out really, really fast. The Cricut, not that fast, but the M1 is slower than the Cricut. Y'all know what? I think when Eve and I have our date night, our M1 date night, I'm going to put it to the test. I'm going to cut flock the same design with the Cricut and with the M1. I might try to bring out um, Sunny, the solo, and see, like, you know, just how fast or how slow the M1 is when it's cutting flop. But Karen, thanks for joining our channel, girl. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. And welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I still owe you guys a, um, so Monday. Monday, we're going to do, because we were supposed to do a members only um, live the other week, like two weeks ago. You know what I'm supposed to do the first Monday of every month, but I couldn't, I, I don't, I think I was just exhausted. This Monday we are going to do it. It's not going to be a long one, but we are going to do a live and we're going to do a live because there is going to be a giveaway. And so I can't really do the giveaway 
with the I love the StreamYard giveaway tool, but I can't really do that inside of Zoom. So we're just gonna talk it out, talk about some things, see where you all are at with your crafty situations. So Marissa has a cover stitch too. For example, I got from you in Maryland and they cut with it. So Deborah says that she used so Deborah said that she uses her cameo four to cut rhinestone flock and it cuts really nicely. So Kevin, you have a like you just just look around. I don't want to tell you get this and it's not for you. Like look and see which ones you like. The Starcraft solo for flock has been perfect for me. I had a little bit of hiccups, but those are all user errors. And sometimes y'all, we have to understand when it's a user error and not the machine. Because I always see people blaming the machine and most of the times it's a user error. How do I know I'm guilty of it? <laughs> I blame the first blame, I'm gonna blame the machine first but it's usually a user error and once i step back and come to my senses i'm like okay what are you doing wrong go back to the beginning and then it's usually me so the starcraft solo cuts beautifully beautifully it just doesn't have that much hype like you know all the other machines does but i love it and you can make different adjustments with it too. Let's see. Thank you, Evie. So I'm gonna call you because it's the, you know what I have that weekend with Racoma. You know, you, I can't, you know what I, I have that weekend. And so it starts on that Friday, but I just don't know, cause I planned on staying at the hotel, but I don't know when, you know, if I could get away and come home and then we could do the M1. So if you wanna do the week before or the week after the week, it's up to you. Whatever your schedule looks like, because I know that's really playing around with the time where you're getting your orders out for the buy-in and stuff. So I don't want it, you know, I don't want to cause you any stress. <laughs> yes. Who else has a cover stitch? Latricia, Marissa, Fabulosis. All right, so how about we do, how about one day we do a, a um, well, I don't have a cover stitch. Do I need a cover stitch, y'all? Tell me if I need one because, y'all, I saved a lot of money this weekend because I didn't buy anything at, at the convention. I didn't buy anything at the expo. So let me know if I need a cover stitch. How bad do I need a cover stitch? Tell me. And then we can unbox together. Looking like this girl has lost it. Miss Deborah, do you have the business edition of um do you have the business edition of silhouette? So to design your rhinestone files, for those of you who may not know, the business edition, if you're looking to design rhinestone files, the business edition in silhouette is actually my preferred um rhinestone tool to use. I do have the rhinestone feature in my StarCraft program. And the StarCraft program is StarCraft Create, which is similar to Shortcuts sure a lot, which a lot of people say is exactly, it's identical to Shortcuts sure a lot. But I prefer, even though, Star, it's, it's a love-hate situation, but StarCraft Create does turn your files into nice rhinestone files. It does. You just can't, Silhouette has more options. That's what I'm going to say as far as like the shape of like you can do a radial or linear. Starcraft is mostly linear. It's mostly linear, but you can maneuver your rhinestones around with that too. Oh, perfect, Latricia. See, I just need, to, yeah, I just need to know that. Awesome. 
I just needed to, I just needed somebody to say that. If you said no, I'm not gonna look anymore. If you said no, I don't need one. Look, Barb. Okay, so Barb says that she has a list of videos to do. Maybe once we hit winter, this is has been Barb knows how to do everything, y'all. Barb knows how to do everything. She does it all. She does it all. <laughs> Miss Deborah, you definitely can do it. You definitely can do it. If you have that business edition, it's you can do it. I'm gonna be, that I'm gonna cut out some um designs, but I am gonna go to sleep tonight. I'm not gonna stay up. Um, but I do want to have something ready for the table that we're going to be doing for Rush Week next week. And just have some things for the kids. And Eve said, everybody needs to wait on Juliet. If you guys don't know who Juliet is, Juliet is Caesar's new cutting machine that will be out to the public. I think he said November, October, November. He was giving us like a little bit of different days. They're still working on a few things. It works beautifully. Um, but you may want to wait on that. It's going to be a little bit more. It's going to be $4.99. How much is the Cricut Maker now, y'all? Is the Cricut Maker now like $4.99? I think it. I think it's. I think it's like $4.99, or is it like four? I don't even know how much the Cricut Maker is. How much? Because I, I think it's like around the same around the same price and the thing is is that you can cut smart materials with it but it doesn't even have to be smart materials with the juliet with the juliet you can use materials that can that has a little bit of firmness and a backing you can just put it in and it will cut it kind of like the solo where you don't need to have um, a mat for it. it doesn't have to be smart material so that's also, I didn't mention that. I just said that, you you know, with smart material, but it doesn't even have to be smart material. You could put, like how, how I do with the solo, you could put that rhinestone flop in as is, just push it through. You can put your vinyl in as is and just push it through. It will cut it. It doesn't have to be a special material in order to do that. I think that's what Cricut is going to have to to work on too. That's it. It's gonna be three ninety nine. Did they show you Mareberry? Yes, I got an up close and personal view of her, and I got an up close and personal view of the software. Like everything we asked, Angel, Angel too. Everything we asked, he was able to answer it. Um, he showed us the design software. He worked in the design software so that we could see, you know what it's capable of and the, how the platform actually looks, the layout. Um, we asked about speed. He says it's pretty fast. He compared it. He said that they did some comparisons with the Cricut, with the Sil with the Cameo, and it far surpassed both. So, yeah, yeah, we got, we got a chance to see a cut. Um, it cut really fast. It it cuts fast. I don't know if it I don't know if it can stand against the solo now, but it does cut pretty fast. But it's kind of like the solo too, like where you can adjust the speed, you can adjust certain things with it. So I'm sure, I'm sure it can probably it, it can hold its own against it. But we did get a chance to see it, and it is beautiful. Marissa, I think I want the 24 inch too. <laughs> I just want too much. It's just too much. Me too, Fab. The software, yes, the software is the bomb.com. It really is. Like, just, it, it's kind of like mixing Cricut Design Space and Silhouette Studio and getting both worlds. Like, you're getting both in one. Like legit, like that's that's what I felt, and you can export your your designs. You, you, it's not stuck into the software. You can take it out. Like you can do a lot. 
that print and cut alone, it you know, that's one of the biggest things that you know we want to do, especially now when there's different products coming out like the Caesar DTV, or when we have the sublimation where we want to contour cut a larger print that we're putting on for sublimation. If you're doing glitter, if you're going to be subbing onto glitter, HTV, or if you're going to be subbing on the clear vinyl, or if you're going to be subbing on easy subly, you want it, you know, you want it to be as large as possible right now, you know, you're limited to nine and a quarter by six and three quarters with the cricket. Now I, when I use my, um, my solo, I can cut a lot, a lot larger than that, a lot larger than that. So this is the same thing. You're going to be able to cut a lot larger. You will even be able to adjust those margins. So the margins or the, what do we call the read lines? The registration marks. So you will be able to adjust it to exactly where you want it to cover. So it's not just going to be like one image. Let's say you have like three images that you want to print and cut. All you do is put it on there and put your registration marks around what you're cutting and it's going to cut all of it. Like you're going to print it out and it's going to cut all of it. So the 13 by 19 sheets, like how like a lot of us for sublimation, we have 13 by 19s and you may need to print like certain shirts. Each, each um, design sometimes is different or the size is different based on the size of the shirt. So you're going to want to have something that can accommodate you, especially if you're using glitter, HTV, clear, HTV, easy subly. If you're doing eco solvent, and that's a whole nother situation too. So if you're doing eco solvent and you're doing your print, because eco solvent, you're doing print then cut too. So now if you're using a Cricut, you're, you know, you're limited to that size. But if you're going to be using another cutter, like a Juliet, that'd be perfect for you. So we'll have a rhinestone feature. Eve, I hope you asked Patrick that question because I did not ask him if it's going to have a rhinestone feature. I did not. I did not even think to ask if it's going to have a rhinestone feature. I don't think it's going to have a rhinestone feature. <laughs> but I don't know. It just might. The Solo has a rhinestone feature. The, the StarCraft Create, that, that one has a rhinestone feature. I don't know. I did not even think to ask that question. Eve, please tell me you asked that question. Please tell me, because I did not even think about it. Beryl, and see, that's why you need to be there, because I didn't even think of that. Oh, Juana, it does have a flock setting. But no, but she wants to know if the, if the software has a rhinestone feature. Is that what you're asking, Mayor Bear, or the flock? Are you asking if the software itself has a rhinestone feature where we can turn our files into bling files? Like we can make some rhinestone files with it. So Wanna Juliet. Juliet is $4.99. It's gonna be, well, it's gonna be $4.99 for Juliet starting out. But I see. Evie said she didn't, I didn't even think, Evie, I didn't even think about it to ask. All I was worried about was the print and cut. I was asking about the print and cut, um, but I did not ask if it was going to have a rhinestone panel or option in the software. <laughs> right, Marissa? <laughs> yeah, Juana, it does. <laughs> Yes, I know it all that bling. It was bling everywhere, y'all. Everybody had on bling. So the funny thing and the cool thing was is that every time you saw a bling shirt, you knew like that was somebody that we knew because of that. Because just because everybody and everybody wore their bling shirts. Everybody had different designs, beautiful stones sparkling all over the place. It was really, really good to see. But every time you saw somebody walking, it's like everybody wore their bling shirts, which was beautiful. 
Let me see. I need more. So, would you say Barb? I can make it three, scan a cut, and sew a pro twenty four. Each on different areas of my son. I can use them all. Yeah, <laughs> Barb, you have everything. You got you, Barb. You have it all. That's why I keep telling like you don't need that, but I do want that cutter. I do want that cutter, and I'm probably one of my cousins is starting a like their own t shirt line or making t-shirts and i think i'm gonna just gift one of my cutters to to her so that she could do what she wants to do with it because i have a lot and i need to make room for some more stuff you saw her red duck she had that red and yellow duck you know she had to put some red in there she had to be different she was like yep my duck's gonna be red Y'all have all the black diamond and jet black ducks all you want to. My duck is going to be red. It was super cute. Everybody's double super. Oh, my goodness. Mare Bear. Mr. McQuacken's duck was the blingiest duck. His duck was just blinging all over the place. His bling was blinging. <laughs> they did, Latricia. His duck was bling, and then he had like the first day he had it on one, and then the second day he had a completely different, like stone, like different stone layout on his duck. I was like, y'all, this is beautiful. <laughs> Bronson, we're gonna see. We are going to see this one. I don't know that with the cameo. Oh no. Wanna don't tell me that. I gotta see if Eve if we're still up for this chat. Eve is working with her silhouette. I just wanna I just wanna use it so I'll know how to use it. I get people who ask me questions about silhouette all the time, and I'm just like, mm. and I haven't really had the you know desire to do it, but I can tell you. My StarCraft solo, I think it's it's super underrated, but it can do a lot. Um, it can do a lot, and I, I love it. It is an acquired taste. Um, it is an acquired taste because it can be, at, at first I found it a little difficult, like finding the settings, the right settings to use with it, but... I love it now. I absolutely love it. And it cuts beautifully. It cuts beautifully. It can cut continuous. Like it cut like width, you're gonna get it's uh 16 inches, and then you can cut as long as you need to. So it's so easy for me to set up like when I have an order and just put like, okay, you have eight of these you have to make, put eight on one cutting mat and then send it to the cutter to the solo and it just cuts it. And it cuts pretty fast. So I do like it for that. What I need. I need to go order my cover stitch. What what type of cover stitch should I get, y'all? And then we'll unbox a cover stitch together. I need a cover stitch. I don't even have oh, let me get the paper out of here. So, okay, so tell me the difference between my cover stitch and my, if I get a cover stitch, the cover stitch and my serger, which I love my serger, y'all. Love it. But what's the difference between them? I need a cover stitch so we can do the unboxing. If we do the cover stitch unboxing, that's going to have to be live because I'm not gonna be able to do a video on it. So we could just do, like I could do a cover stitch, unbox it live with y'all. Cause that way I could put it in on a Tuesday night or a Friday night. And it won't take like another day and I won't have to edit anything. Marilyn was missed, I can't wait. Brother twenty three forty. 
pay for it if you do it. I think that we should have a song Zoom class at least once a month. So Marissa says that we need a sewing. Who's gonna teach the sewing Zoom class, Marissa? I'm putting it down on my list. Sewing Zoom class one time per month. Or maybe every other month. <laughs> But I get you, Marissa. I, I I got you. Can we do like a sew along? Oh, Marilyn. 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 Mayor Bear. What? Let me see. So next week, because I did promise. Okay, so I promised a Zoom on... So I have two Zooms that I need to, well, I have a few Zooms. Y'all like, half of y'all probably like, girl, you told me you were going to do a Zoom. So I have a, I need to do a Zoom on the sub, sublimation and bling. Let's do an embroidery Zoom. And then the problem is, is that I don't, I would do this. I would do two. And then I still need to do that X tool and solo zoom so the excellent solo zoom i could do i'm writing this down now y'all because if i don't do it now it's not gonna happen and i still need to do that bling cup that i said that we were gonna do with the name but that's gonna be on a friday night Maybe this Friday night, but I told somebody I was going to do something else this Friday night. So I don't know what I'm doing, y'all. Um, let's do... Wait, I got to see if Eve is down for an embroidery Zoom. Where's Eve? Barb, are you going to be there? Barb. 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 <laughs> you have to be at the embroidery Zoom, Barb. Like, you have to be there. <laughs> Teresa, so funny. I need to know, y'all. Cricut is so easy to use. It's, yeah, it's so it. Then that's the thing. That's what makes it more. You know, oh, CV. That's what makes it attractive is because it's super easy to use. It's super easy to use, Juana. And that's why I always tell people, like, if you're new, a cricket is fine. But once you start, like, and it's, it, it might be better if they had, like, different levels to their machines. So there's not much difference between the maker and the explorer. There's not much difference. What the amount of materials that it can cut that may be the only big difference, but as far as usage and levels, like as far as like advancement, there is no no true difference. So that would be like something that if I'm them, I'm looking, okay, so we have this, which is, you know, the novice crafter, the beginner, and then we have another machine for, you know, the more experienced crafter, and then maybe we have another machine for the business, minded or the professional crafter like you know something where each machine is a little bit different but it's meeting the needs of the person who's using it at that moment like this is just a machine across the board and most most of the you know most of the companies kind of do it that way but they don't have like cricket doesn't have anything larger um to use and they're pretty you know i'm hoping that they kind of adjust and change with time especially now there's so many new mark new um there's so many new cutters coming on the market like another company asked me to unbox and review a cutter that they're launching and so it's like cricket you gotta and i love cricket like me and cricket go way back like four flat tires because it was my very first crafting machine as far as vinyl cutters or anything like that. And it was, a, it was really, uh, and I'm 
it was a really big part in just me healing as a person. And so like, I feel super loyal to my cricket and just because of that, but you kind of outgrow it sometimes, especially if you, you start taking crafting, you know, to other levels, which is kind of sad for me, but oh, such is life. Bar. <laughs> I think the joy is cute too. And y'all, I'm planning on cutting one day. I'm gonna just do joy, and we're gonna cut some flock with the joy and see how that goes. And make because you can definitely cut flock with your cricket joy. I just haven't cut any flock now. You're not gonna be able to cut any huge designs with it, um, but you can use it for something. You can. So we're gonna do, so let's plan next week, Saturday, y'all. I don't have anything done, anything. Oh God, I do have something to do all week. I got two weeks to do some classes for Creative Fabrica that I, that I was supposed to have done like last month. So I have two weeks to do those. Um, well, I have longer if I want, but I wanna get it done because I did, promise that they would all be done by October. So I have to get them done. But let's do Saturday. How long do you guys think like an embroidery Zoom would take us? Do you guys think like a two hour embroidery Zoom would be enough time for us to do like a embroidery Zoom together? Because if we could, um, we could maybe do something on Saturday, do like an embroidery Zoom. Um, we could possibly, I mean, I would say get whatever file you want to get and use, but we could just maybe go on Zoom and embroider together. And then if anybody has any help, you know, we could, you know, I can't help anybody, but one of y'all could help. I can't help anybody. <laughs> I'm going to mess your machine up. So... But we could do we could do something like that. Let me know if you guys are down. If you guys are down, I would prefer. I was gonna say I prefer to do a Google Meet, but we'll see about Zoom. So let me see. So we're gonna do either a Google Meet or Zoom, and this would be next Saturday. And then I'll plan the X tool and the solo and the bling. I may do the X tool and the solo because not everybody wants to do that. But I'll plan the X tool and the solo in one day. And then I'll just do like um, an hour, an hour and a half for each, like 90 minutes for each. And we'll do all of that. I'll do 90 minutes X tool, 90 minutes solo. The embroidery is, it's going to be for, um, we're going to make, on Zoom. I'm, I don't, we could do, do you guys want to do like a, do you guys want, okay, so this is what we need to know. Eve, are you here listening? Are you going to be a part of this, Eve? Because I'm not doing this. Oh, no, Eve can't, Eve has her, we can't do it next, we can't do it on Saturday. Eve, is your bling class this week coming? Or is it the next week? I think it's this week. Yeah, I'll post it. I'll post it because I'm thinking either Zoom or Google Meet. Hey, D. Smith. D. Smith, I was just relaxing tonight. I did a little diamond painting. Nothing. Diamond painting for me isn't like a really popular thing. And so typically, like, for me, it's popular, but for my audience, it's not that popular, but I know that my people always come and hang out with me. And so y'all always come and check me out. So I just knew that I would be safe and in a good space. And y'all got me through like just not feeling so tense. Like I, I was just feeling tense and I wanted to work and I felt like I was being lazy and not doing anything and this kind of calm me down so i know see eve has her bling class on saturday y'all and y'all know i can't do an embroidery well it's not really gonna be a class it's just gonna be an embroidery hangout we could do a hangout if you guys don't expect much from me but if you expect anything from me 
in this embroidery session, then it's not going to be able to be much. But Eva's having a bling, a bling class that's this Saturday. So we may have to do it the next following Saturday. If she's going to be available. She's like, girl, don't be adding stuff on my calendar. But I'm just saying, Eve, Zoom. So we're going to do embroidery. And Marilyn, you are going to take out that embroidery machine. And Marilyn, it's not going to be a good week for you. Not this Saturday coming up because Eve has a bling class. And we can't do it on that same day because you guys might need to know how to bling. You, you might need to know. Some of y'all might need to know how to bling and you may want to bling. So, yeah. <laughs> that, oh, that bling transfer. Yes. I saw that. So let's plan for, let me, I'm going to give you guys the day. It's not going to be this week, this next Saturday. It's going to be on the, oh. So it's going to be on October 1st. And it's going to have to be a little bit early on that Saturday because that Saturday I'm supposed to hang out with my family in that, like later in that evening on that Saturday. So let's plan for October 1st and we could do maybe like a noon maybe at noon possibly let me know I'm gonna put some times I'm gonna put a poll out I'm not gonna put it in here I'm gonna put it in the community and that'll give us some time to prepare because maybe we can do like an in the hoop design or an in the hoop project and maybe make something simple like a wallet or a clutch, a little, you know, the little clutch. We could do something. We'll plan. But next week, Saturday, not this Saturday or next Saturday, about October 1st. Eve is having a rhinestone class next Saturday. And so, Eve, do you have a link to, to sign up for the rhinestone class? Let me find it because I'm sure somebody needs to know how to do some bling. Babyswoody.com. Edith, do you have your link? I didn't drop the girl. Glasses. <laughs> All right, here's the link. So it's going to be September 24th. I am going to drop it in the chat, uh, in the hoop. So Barb said uh, in the hoop. Perfect. So we will do uh, in the hoop. I just dropped the link for the class for Eve for this week, for next week, for the 24th. If you are interested in upping your bling game, learning more about hot fix rhinestones, you want to join this class and then after you do Eve's class, then you'll be invited to my sub and bling class. Well, it's just going to be a Zoom. It's not going to be nothing major. But you'll be invited to my sub and bling class. It'll be my first sub and bling class. So because it's my first one, it's like a tester. So it's not like we're just gonna, we're just going to be, you know, you guys will kind of be like guinea pigs. <laughs> for lack of better word, or testers. Let me say testers. So then you guys, what I will expect is some feedback, ways that I can improve, um, anything that's missing, and that sort of thing. But we are going to do a Zoom, a sub and bling class. Um, not next week, because next week, week after that, we're going to do embroidery. So October 1st, put that on your calendars. October 1st, preferably around noon, Noon or one, we will do the embroidery um, Zoom Zoom along, okay, or embroidery along, and we're gonna do an in the hoop project. I'm writing all this stuff down, guys. That's why I'm repeating it. We're gonna do an in the hoop project. Um, Barb is gonna be there. Eve, you're gonna be there too. I hope you're gonna be there, Eve, because. I'm just going to put Eve down. Yes. Next weekend. Barbara's going to be there because next week she's going to be there. She said 
Okay, perfect. So the first. Y'all, I am loving this. This is going to be good. This is going to be really, really good um, to do. All right, so that's what we have. I'll, I'll get ready to put everything together. Um, is there any site when we find it in the hoop? I know that um, some of the sites that I use, like Creative Fabrica, they have um, projects that we could use. Um, but if there's any other sites that you guys are more familiar with and you like their projects, I like the... What is it? Little B? Little B Designs? I like Little B Designs. She has really good projects. Um, but we'll get something. Marilyn, are you prepared? Do you Can you put that on your calendar on October 1st? Oh, sorry, Miss Gray. Ms. Gray. We are going to have so many more. We're gonna we're gonna try to make this a thing, not just embroidery. Like we'll pick something at least, you know, once a month, if not once a month, every other month. And outside of YouTube, of course, we're gonna use YouTube to get the information to you guys. But it'll be something completely outside of YouTube where we can maybe do Zoom or Google Meet. I'm gonna see um, which one will be easier, but. It's something that we could do where we could really connect. I had a really good time meeting and talking and chatting with all of you um, or everybody who came this past week to Graphics Pro Expo. And I don't know, like, I feel better. Like, I felt good. I did. So, I don't know. Looking to continue that. And maybe by the next time, you know, maybe in the future we can have a crafters um, conference or something that Teresa's not um, that I'm not doing I'll be there but I don't have to worry about putting it together and so I'm excited so October 1st embroidery we're going to do in the hoop all right y'all make sure y'all put that on your calendars should we okay so should we limit it to a certain amount of people or like should I don't know. Like I don't I don't know. I never really do do this, y'all. Designs by little designs by little B. Designs by little B. So I'm gonna look because she has oh my goodness, she has the cutest things. So what we'll do is I'll find like different um projects that are similar so that if you you know, if you want to go rogue and do whatever you want to do, that's fine. But merely I think you should do something, you know, that Barb does. <laughs> so Barb can walk you through. Barb or Barb or Eve, because girl, don't trust me. Designs by little B. Okay, let's see. All right, y'all. We got some to do's. This has been a very productive now you see y'all look you see what diamond painting can do for you it can clear up your mind you can think of new things and yeah yeah i actually have a whole plan here and i've got order cover stitch yeah. and marissa marissa you suggested doing a sewing zoom thank you so much i know it's not sewing this time it's going to be embroidery but next time we could possibly do like a sewing zoom together these are more so like together activities and not really classes like the x tool solo ones that i'm going to do that's more so a class the sub and bling that's more so a class this is something that we're going to be doing together you don't need to be experienced. Somebody in the chat will help. I'm joking that I don't know anything. I do know a little bit, very little, but whatever I do know, I will help. Um, I will help you. So you don't have to be experienced. Everybody in here has tons of experience. Um, so don't be nervous. You got this. And so October 1st, if you have an embroidery machine that you're scared to use or that it's collecting dust, this is going to be your time. It's going to be your time to shine. Let me see. Okay. Oh, can't you? Know, yeah, probably can. You got to talk to Eve. What'd you say about the 
I also want to, I can select the design or like, I think I'll, I'll probably do like, um, like two or three designs of maybe the same type of project. So what little B does, like she has like, let's say the same hand sanitizer thing, but she may have like a different patch on it or different, you know, it may be a little different, but it's the same. Um, so we could do, do something like that and then I'll let everybody see it. And then we come up with our own thing. And I think that's going to be really, really cool. Now, if I knew how to create like in the hoop designs, I would probably try to create something, but I don't know how to do that. I mean, I could probably try to learn. It'll probably be a hot mess. You yeah, know, Oh, never mind. Never, never mind. <laughs> it's okay. We'll just pick out something from Design by Little B. Yes, Barb. Yes, yes, Barb. Oh, I love you guys. I love y'all. So, Miss Gray, you're gonna be gone the week of the the weekend of the first, right? Because the first is that Saturday. Aww. Embroidery Garden has many bags. Embroidery Garden, let me write that one down. All right, perfect. Now this could be a thing. This could really be a thing. So October 1st is our day I'm going to put it, let me put it on my calendar now. Um, so that way anything else pops up is too late. I'm already hanging out with my peeps. So I'm already zoom. I am just putting it because I don't want to. Perfect. And this kind of gives me the opportunity to finish everything that I need to finish um, by next week. So, perfect. All right, y'all. We all set. We are all set. All set. <laughs> so, don't forget, Eve's class is next week. Okay, Eve did tell. Okay. Perfect. So I'm gonna drop, hey, Miss Queen T. Miss Queen T is in the building, hey. I'm dropping E's link again for the buy-in. If you are interested, not buy-in, the buy-in ended, y'all, forgive me. Eve, so the neon stones, do you still, you still have them in the store? I don't remember, I did not look for them this time. But please tell me if you have them because I've had so many people ask me if you still, you know, if you're still ordering those because they want to place an order for it next time for the neon stones. So please tell me if you still, if those colors are still available because I did that video trick or treat and I was not thinking, you know, I have a lot of rhinestones, so I've just used them, but. Neon will not go. Okay, perfect. So Neon, y'all, Neon is here to stay. Neon is here to stay. So please, if you see this live and you are asking me about the Neon Stones, they are here to stay. You definitely can order them from the next buy-in. Oh, you're going on a nice long cruise, Miss Gray, and happy birthday. That is awesome. Enjoy your cruise, girl. Don't think about us. Don't think about embroidery. Don't think about anything. <laughs> what do you say? I'm going rogue and just trying to figure out how to embroider a name on some fabric. <laughs> so test it out. Test where? Test it out. Marilyn, if you're not doing anything tomorrow, we can do something simple. We can do like a, a a stitch on a bag. We could do a stitch on a bag if you don't mind, you know, we could. Let me know. And then you'll be ready for the first. You're going to be ready for the first anyway. Trust me, Marilyn. Marilyn, I had no idea about embroidery. I did have that brother that I used, and that helped me out really good. And if it weren't for Angelina, Jasmina, and Adub, I probably 
would not even know how to use that. But with this multi needle, I had no idea what I was getting myself into. And believe it or not, it was not for everybody in this chat and some people who are not here tonight. Like it wasn't for for you guys. Like I would not even feel as comfortable as I do with it now. Like I, I'm good with it. Like I'm. I don't feel anxiety. I don't feel scared. So you're in good hands, Mayor Bear. You're in good. Not my hands, but you're you're in good, you're in good hands. Their hands, not mine. Because girl. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> so, the, so the Black Light Collection will be back at the end of the month. The collections rotate, but always available for the ice picks and 250 growth. So the collection, what she means by the collection is, oh, well, I don't, I don't even know anymore. I don't even know. The collection I had was the first Neon um, Trove collection or the Black Light Collection which was the orange, the pink, the blue, and the yellow. But she has added new colors. So now there's a purple. I have all the colors though. There's the purple, there's the purple and the green. So that's six. So it's the orange, the pink, the yellow, the blue, the purple, the green. And then the white is not really the black light collection, or is it a part of the black light collection, the white ones? It's still considered like the neon. Um, I don't know if it changed, but it was considered the neon treasure, like part of the neon um, collection, but it's so many colors. So I don't even know how the collection comes now. I have the, I, but I have all of the colors because I love the neon treasure drop collection. It's not even called that anymore. Y'all know I don't know how to change. Too much change makes me anxious. I'm looking to see if I missed the color. No, but that's all the colors. I love all those colors. Oh, do you want me to show you, Patrice? I'll show you what's in the collection. Let me go get my collection. You, Y'all know I love, I love bling. I will show you guys that. Let me, let me go get the collection, and then I'm going to go to bed. I promise that I am going to go to bed. I'm going to get ready for bed, edit those videos, start preparing um, for that Zoom that we're going to have, looking for some designs. If you guys see any designs that you like, don't hesitate to let me know. Um, I'll probably put out a poll for you guys. y'all so i'm back oh y'all talk about blinging over here blinging she does miss queen t she has a website yeah she has it's the baby's booty hold on let me mirror bear can you drop evie's link Y'all, I'm tired. All right, so here, here is the black light. It used to be the neon elite neon treasure trope. No, neon. It's black light now. Yo, I call it a whole bunch of things. But, yeah. All right, y'all. So, let me turn off this light. So you guys could really see, and you can't even see the orange, like how orange this is. Like this is the orange, y'all can't even tell that. I'm gonna have to go back online. No, you can't see it. 
let me just let y'all know the color that this is showing is not showing so it's not showing how it should be showing so i'm gonna go back oh on the overhead so that you can see it better and you guys may get me string yard and then after i show y'all these beautiful colors so black light collection <clears throat> E, but the black light collection is what's the what's so are these colors are in the black light collection right before i show everybody these colors and then i'm showing them something wrong all right i'm gonna head over and then we are going to fix that camera. Sorry, y'all, my hand got me away in a minute. I don't really like my setup tonight, but that's what we got tonight. Oh, goodness. What did I do wrong? Always doing something wrong. Always. Miss Queen T is in the building and Miss Queen T is now a part of the family. Welcome. Thank you for being here. Hope you love it here. I love it here. And it's not because of me why I love it here. I love it here because of all oh, y'all. That is the only reason why I love it here. So thank you. All right, so we are going to, all right. Okay, y'all, this is looking, okay. okay. Now this orange is, is oranging. It is giving what it is supposed to give a little bit. I'm just gonna bring it down a little bit closer so you guys could really see. So backlight comes in SS10. And I'm so sorry how this is looking. I don't know how I got the camera set up, but I was in a rush. And right now, this is the best we got, y'all. Look, this is the orange. And well, this is all the black light collection. And this is why it's the black light collection, because it glows, right? And so when you kind of, well, you can't even see it good. Let me take it out. How do y'all tell me, how do every time we go live, how do we always end with bling? Tell me this. It's Eve's fault. Eve has done this to people. She's done it to me. And Eve, oh, I love you. So these are the orange, right? And this is what the orange looks like. And so it kind of, oh, y'all, that is giving the glow glow. Look at that. So this is what happens with these. They like glow. That's why they're the black light collection. Y'all, if y'all saw these in person, how they are glowing. So this is the orange, right? I'm using my, my hands. I know they're a little veiny, but that's the best I got. These are the only hands. Like I don't I don't have any black gloves. If y'all want to see black gloves, y'all gotta go over to Eve. So, okay, so I'm showing you guys all of the originals first, right? So all of the original colors first. I don't think the green was a part of the original colors, right, Eve? It was the orange, and then we have this pink. Uh-oh, I forgot my little I love putting these on shirts. So this is like the pink, not like the pink. This is the pink. And the pink is beautiful, like beautiful. And the pink lights up too. So I wish y'all could see like exactly like how it lights up. Maybe I'm too close, but this is the pink. And that pink is beautiful. But it does like y'all can see it like lighting up a little bit. 
it's always a blink takeover. Always a blink takeover. It never fails. But these are gorgeous. That's what that pink looks like without the light. All right, so then we're going to look at the other two colors that came with it. And then you have the blue, the neon blue. And this is what that blue looks like. And these colors are so fun. It's like you can use it for summer. Let me see this blue. You can use them for summer. Um, also, if you guys saw that last video that I did um, using Maryland's um, template, you can use it for the fall season, even Halloween, like the orange and the, the purple, the green. This blue is gorgeous too. Hey, strength from within. Welcome. Happy Saturday. And then we have this yellow. Yeah, like, girl, I, we do not care for that diamond painting, but show us the bling. <laughs> this is the bling. Is this the only bling that y'all want to see? This yellow, this yellow is like amazing. But this is the yellow and the same thing. It will light up for you. Like it really lights up. Oh, look at that. It lights up for you. And then, so this was the original, um, this was the Neon Lights Treasure Trove Collection, but now it's no longer the Neon Lights Treasure Trove Collection. It's called the Black Light Treasure Trove Collection, and it only these stones only come in SS10. So you know your girl got SS10 rhinestones. If they came in SS6, y'all know that I would have SS6 rhinestones in the Neon Treasure Trove Collection. But I'm grateful for these because y'all... Look at this purple. Oh, Miss Shirley Dabney, welcome. Thank you for becoming a member to our channel. I hope you love it here. Y'all, our, our members live is going to be on Monday. So it's going to be Monday at 6. Because I don't want to stay on too long. Because I do. Y'all, I'm so far behind. I know I tell y'all that every week I'm so far behind. But I still haven't caught up. <laughs> still haven't caught up. But y'all, look at this purple. This purple is gorgeous. And I finally gave Eve her shirt. Her finer thing shirt. Finally. But look at this purple. This purple is gorgeous. Gorgeous. Look at that. And it, it glows too. So this, these are other, these are the new additions to the Treasure Trove collection. Y'all don't like to lose rhinestones, so I gotta pick the ones that fell just now. All right. So this was a new addition, and then also this green. Y'all look at this green. Oh, I didn't show y'all the purple like that. See how that purple looks? Now look at this green. This green is gorgeous. Gorgeous. Let me take it out and show y'all. Yes, yeah, 6 Eastern. Is that good timing for you, Mary Bear? I'm glad you love it. It's a hot mess. I need to make you a new one. But I did give you the one from the live, but you said you're going to be upset with me if I didn't give you that one. So I don't need no problems with the baby's booty. <laughs> I do not. But look at that green, y'all. I'm telling y'all, these colors are on point. This neon collection, they're very bright colors. You can use them in so many different ways for so many different situations, seasons. Like, you can use it for so many different things. Definitely for summer. I love the neon yellow. Um, I love the bright colors for summer. But, like I said, this, 
like I used this in the video that I did um, using the trick or treat uh, rhinestone design file from Maryland, and it, it, they worked out perfectly. Now here's the white. So the white are these still a part of the back the black light collection, Evie, or these are not? So these are like the neon white, right? But these don't really glow like the other ones. But let me tell you something. These these work perfectly in designs. Like I love having a white, just a pure white stone. So these are just white, but this is the difference. They don't glow. So as you see, well, they kind of look like they're glowing now, but you can't tell. These don't glow. But well, they do look like they're glowing now, but they don't. They're just glowing because I have that thing right there. But these don't glow. Like I can see the difference. If I put it down, you can see it. Look at my other video, you can see it. The video that I did, that I keep talking about with the um, with Maryland's template, I kind of show it how it doesn't glow. But these are the white. And these look great. I love this collection. Um, this is one of my fave uh, collections, all of these. And so I kind of try to keep them together. Oh, I didn't put my rubber bands on them, but it's fine. And the other ones, the Black Light Collection, they come packaged together too. So you won't be disappointed with these. I assure you, you won't. You will love these. These are 250 gross, but the Black Light Collection, E, does it come in a, a 100 gross for each of the colors? Or I know it doesn't come 250 gross. It has to come 100 gross. This was a whole nother collection, but the Black Light Collection are these colors. And you could also get it in your ice picks. So for those of you who don't know, if you're interested in starting out with rhinestones and you're like, you know what, I'm just not really ready to make that investment yet. But I do want to try them out to see if I want to make that investment. You want to try out the ice ice picks. And the ice picks, you can pick five colors. And it comes in a in an ice pick. And these are it then the colors come in like ice chips. And these are the ice chips. So you get five five of these and you may say well that's not a lot of rhinestones it actually is um i've probably done like two shirts using this citrine color um and the ice picks come you can either get ss10 or ss10 if the colors come that way so with the neon colors you're gonna have to get ss10 because it they don't come in ss6 when they come in SS6, I will probably buy all of them. So you will probably have to rush to get them. <laughs> six boxes. So you're going to get six boxes of 100 gross in each box of all the colors except the white. So the purple, the yellow, the blue, the pink, the green, and the orange. So all of the colors that I showed you, you're going to get all of the colors except the white but you're going to get so these boxes that i have let me show you just in case this is your first time here i'm going to show you what the 100 gross um come in i think it comes in that let me see let me make sure let's see all right so the 100 gross, so you guys can kind of see a size difference. This is, these stones, these stones are not, um, these are SS6 stones. I don't know if you guys can really tell, they're a lot smaller than um, these stones, right? Because these are my favorite. But the 100 gross will come in like this size container, right, Evie? I don't really buy 100 gross stones but i think it comes in this size container and that's you know that's that's the difference just so you kind of have an idea the container is a little smaller okay but 
you're going to get six of these with 100 gross of rhinestones. That's a lot of stones still. This is 250 gross of stones. Okay. 100 gross is a lot of stones. So that is the 100 gross. And then I'm going to show you before I get off the ice picks in case. So in case you want to get them in like the ice picks, you remember I told you that you would get five containers in one. So you get to pick your colors. And so you get 20 gross of SS6. And how many gross of the SS6 stones do you get in the ice chips? Uh, um, 50 gross E? I don't know. Do I even have the highest scent? I don't even know if I have the highest. I don't have highest scent. Oh, Marilyn, I wanted to make Sir McQuacken's beak with the highest scent, and I don't even have any highest scent, but I do have the highest scent AB, but not the highest scent. I was like, girl, how you don't have highest scent? Oh, do. But you get five of these in here, right? And SS10 is 20 gross. SS6, you get 50 gross, okay? And this is an ice pick. So here you will be able to test out stones. Let's say you're not really, you're not sure, right? You don't know if you really want to get into the bling. You want to test it out first. I can tell you, based off of experience, you might as well just go ahead and buy you a whole bunch of bling, but you're going to be responsible. And you just want to test it out to see if you really, really want it, right? Well, this is going to be your way to go. Test it out. If you're on the fence and you're like, I don't know, I don't know. get one of these. Test it out. Fill it up with the colors that you like, right? You get SS6, you get 50 gross in each container. SS10, you get 20 gross. And those are the, that's the weight, the amount of the stones that you're going to get in this container. Okay. You're going to get five of them, five little ice chips. Like I showed you, they're so cute. And guess what? When you're done with them, you can fill them up with other rhinestones. I usually fill them up with other, I use these, you know, with when they're done, when this is done, I'll pour other rhinestones in so that I don't have to really take out all of the big ones all the time. And that way I have these close by me and I can go ahead and just use these and not have to worry about handling these so much, right? So you get five of these either filled with SS6 or SS10 based on your preference. And you can try it out. I mean, if you're not sure and if you haven't done bling before, I would recommend going that route. At least try it out. I can tell you that you may regret it only because <laughs> when you get these and you try it out, you're going to love it. And you're going to say, oh, I should have got more. And then you realize that you're going to have to wait another month or a few more weeks before you can even purchase another order for the next buy-in. Now, also, make sure to check Eve's calendar because... And I think next month might be the last month for the buy-in for this year. She will be back next year. But, y'all, she need a break. We've been blinking my friend out over there with all these rhinestones. And she's been working nonstop all year. All year. So just make sure that if you are interested in getting any rhinestones, you head over to the Baby's Booties YouTube channel so that you know what's going on, head over to her Facebook group, the Hoop group, and check her website out so you know her calendar. You know when rhinestone season is going to go on hold and when it will be back. But if you are interested, now is the time. And especially for those of you who may have like some orders for the holidays, this is the time to stock up on those rhinestones now. So the next buy-in, you know, at least you'll have it during the season. I want to put this one on here. So the next one, Mary said that the next one is coming up September 30th. So September 30th is when it starts. Let me put that on my screen. 
and just look on the site look at the different so that you have an idea look at the different colors a lot of times she showcases all of the different colors that she has you can check out Marilyn making with Marilyn who's on the screen now you can check out her YouTube channel because on her YouTube channel she features let me move over let me move my bling off the screen so you can check out making with Marilyn's YouTube channel she features a lot of the different colors that Eve has um, in the buy-ins. Check out Josephine, the best uni. She also features a lot of the different colors that Eve uses and that Eve has in her store on her channel. And so that way you can see like the different ways because they use these rhinestones in so many different ways. And it's really impressive. You can even check out um, Coretta Dangerfield, she does a lot of bling and she does different designs. You can check her bling out, check out um, Demp's designs. She uses East Bling. I think she just did an unboxing or she said she recorded it. I did not see it. So I don't know if she put it up yet or not. But check out Demp's designs. She showcases. There is a lot of us on here that uses the bling from Eve, the baby's booty. So you can get an idea of, you know, what you might like. Go on her website, go through the different colors, and you definitely want to check out her channel, the Baby's Booty channel. Can you guys put down the website? And then that way, or the YouTube channels, let me see, because you want to check out these channels because it'll help you with making decisions. Definitely Eve, because Eve shows you, you know, we have some Sundays where we're all mesmerized by the finer things, like all her bling, and she shows, you know, the different colors, and if there's anything new coming, or she kind of shows how you can pair certain colors together. Marilyn's, Marilyn's really good with that, too, showing how to pair um, the rhinestone colors and things like that. I mostly use SS6. That is my favorite size to use, and so I mostly use that. But I am kind of liking SS10s now, like a little more. I like it, but I like the smaller bling. <laughs> I, like the, I like the finer bling. <laughs> That's what I like. <laughs> finer, not saying it's better, but finer, like it's smaller. I like the finer bling. So that's um, where you'll see for me, at least for me, you'll see it used um, in a different size. But check these check these sites out, these um, YouTube channels, because you, you'll get an idea of what you like. And just go on her website and, and look at the colors. Even on the website, y'all, honestly, the website really doesn't show like the true beauty of these stones like you have to be on her channel and Marilyn's channel Marilyn's um I don't know how she has her lighting set up she's gonna have to come down to Florida and help me get my lighting set up right when I'm blinging because when with her like her <laughs> lighting is perfect it really shows the bling really really good really good so good night Cheryl I'm about to say good night too so you said yes, on the end of October and one in November. Not not one in December. Not one in December. So now is the time. Now is the time to get some bling, you know, together to get your bling situated. But it has been fun, and I always say I'm only gonna stay on for forty five minutes, and then I'm I'm on here for way longer than that. I know you guys expect that. I know you guys think when I say, I'm only going to be here for 45 minutes. You guys laugh to yourself and be like, here we go. Here she goes with the drama and the lies. I appreciate y'all. Thank you for sticking around with me tonight. Thank you for hanging out with me when I did the diamond painting. I know that's not really our thing, but it's my thing. And so I appreciate those of you who who hung with me while I did something that I wanted to do, not something that I felt like I needed to do or had to do. So I love y'all. Have an amazing rest of your weekend. I think there will be Crafty Talk 
on Tuesday. Not sure. I might take another crafty Tuesday off. I just got, oh, I, I do need to catch up on some things. So I might take another crafty Tuesday off, especially since on Monday we're going to be doing the members live. So we're going to be doing the members live at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Monday. Can't wait to hang out with y'all. It's going to be so much fun. That's it. I love y'all. And until next time.